Somebody want to explain to me why YouTube says I have a dollar eighteen in chat revenue already? I have wired headphones now, so I can't. Well, I guess I don't know if you can hear chip, uh, money coming in anyway. So I don't know if that makes a difference. But I come back, we get a dollar eighteen. Oh, there we go. Always the names I have the hardest time saying. Bishai Tomata. Thank you very much for the. CLP 1000, which I have on good authority, translates to uh, $1.18. Chilean, I knew that. I didn't just look it up. Um, now, before we go any further, there's just one thing. One thing that I have to say to you. IGN... GameSpot, I know you're in the chat right now. The stream's at at least 37 viewers. Unless it's gone down since last time I checked. But still a lot. Reconsider. Reconsider. Right now. 7 out of 10 that you gave Starfield. Change the score. Now. I haven't played the game, but as a long-time Bethesda gamer... I'm pretty sure that this game deserves at least a 9 out of 10, okay? When I go on Metacritic and I see that score at 88, okay, deprived of its 90, punish Todd. I just can't help but think that you're all conspiring against him, but no more. Change it now. This is your final warning.
It deserves a 9. I've never played the game before. You just released the review the day that Early Access came out. There's no way I could have played it, so I can't verify whether it's better than a 7, but it's better than a fucking 7, okay? Let's you and I have a sit down. Well, let me put, put my gun away here. Also, thanks, Millennia. 16 times the detail. <laughs> One pound for every times the detail. <laughs> I can hardly wait. I hope that I can climb the mountain. That'll be my favorite part. Looking off into the distance. IGN, fire this man. He's using violence to sway any opinion he can. All right, let's boot up Starfeld. Let's boot up Starfeld. I'm, I'm excited. I was not going to buy this game, but then two, two or three people said that they wanted to see me play it. So I'm like, you know what? I want to play this game suddenly. Might need to uh, do a little bit of active mixing here. As a matter of fact, I'm probably just going to lower the decibels on the game right now. <laughs> All right. Hey, what's up, Vinyl Morpheus? Thank you for that super chat. <clears throat> Coffee boys rise up. Any thoughts on Sea of Stars so far? I'm enjoying it so far. Uh, I played it for about two hours. And uh, I would have to say so far, my thoughts on it are that the graphics are are beautiful. Um, I really like the um, tasteful sort of post-processing effects over pixel art. I think that's a good medium to go with. Chained Echoes kind of hit me in the same way. Music so far is... Some tracks are good, like good. Some tracks are like really good, but I haven't heard any that have bombed so far. And um, I'm uh, the battle system for Sea of Stars is really interesting me now. Like at first I wasn't sure, but it's kind of growing on me through Paper Mario esque thing. The writing in that game uh, so far is really uh, amateurish in a way that bothers me because like if they had just paid like a, a, a script doctor. Th it would be so much better if they just had somebody who knew how commas worked and how hyphens worked the script would be so much more improved as it stands to me the way it's written is so like amateurish that i'm almost looking for problems every like dialogue box and it's gonna i feel like that will affect my opinion on the plot i'm gonna try to not let that happen um but so far that's kind of my thoughts on it are you sure it's a Bethesda game because it hasn't crashed it's as we have made it all the way to the menu, no crashes. I don't know, I've heard from a few people um, that uh, apparently this game is actually like relatively stable compared to their other launches, so it remains to be seen. We will, we will find out. Bane of Orion, thank you for the $10. Greetings, it's getting cold in the morning. Hey, Manchilo, we have officially hit September, which for my province means... Um, we go from uh, plus 40 to minus 40 within a month. No, not that bad, but it's been known to snow in like early October here. So I'm looking forward to that. More chilly mornings. Chilly mornings are cozy mornings when you're not outside, which thankfully I don't have to work in the lumber yard anymore. So I have to like wake up at six in the morning, take a shower, go to my car. Hair is frozen stiff by the time I get in the car. I have to like hold it with my hands to like, Oh, and then back when I smoked, I had to roll down my car window with a manual roll down and drive to work in minus 40 air, blowing at my frozen hair in my face while I'm trying to rip a dart, shivering, shivering while still shifting gears. Uh, uh, what, what hand is even on the wheel at that point? There's no hands left. Temperatures in American? Oh man, I don't even know what minus 40 Celsius is in, in American. Real cold. Real low. Remember, have parents for your character. That's an interesting suggestion. I ran this for all of two seconds yesterday to make sure it, like, uh, was, like, running. So. Seals are good. Oxygen's good. Just do what you did last time, and you're fine. Follow my one simple rule. Hella, what's my one simple Listen rule? Listen to Lynn. Boss lady knows best. Exactly. Listen to me. 
My Cheers, everybody. Just Welcome like here. Any other job. Go steady. Go safe. Go home with a pocket full of credits at the end of the day. Yeah, totally. It's just like, um, I work in the Star Dock, except uh, with more cave ins, lasers, and accidental dismemberment. Very <laughs> That description was manly Thank AF. You. I promise yeah, it didn't look manly AF. I looked like a drowned chicken. And, you know, let's be honest, it ain't exactly astrophysics. That's why I keep him around. But no, it was man. It was man. Yeah. And the fact that I can pinpoint a helium deposit from 300 meters. <laughs> Not untrue. A shame we won't find any down here. But the metal deposits alone should pay for our own helium. Hell, after this, we'll have enough jump fuel to bounce from one end of the settled systems to the next. Hey, more minerals, more money. And so the cycle repeats itself. What if you booted up Starfield? Uh, you press a new game. Jumps in a house for room space, and you okay? opened your eyes He's in the game. Big baby. And you looked up and lives. there was somebody there and you they know, said, Hey you, don't even you're finally awake. Way. I have a good feeling about you. A group hug now or at the end of the shift? I would scream. One of these days, Hella, I am going to leave you behind. Promises, promises. Okay. All right, let's do this. What's Frame rate's that? stable in the underground cavern where there's uh, nothing happening, but... Grab some samples? We'll we'll see. I might need to do some on the fly uh, graphic settings editing here. New Vegas had the best intro for replays. That guy looks like he's like pissing at the mo the mo most powerful stream ever seen. He's literally melting rocks. But uh, New Vegas, you just basically start the game and create your character, and it's like. I go after the guy if you want. A job like this in the United Colonies? of red tape. no! Ah, no, no, no! It's a laser, not a sledgehammer! Do you want me to fix him up here? Look me in the eyes while you fire lasers into my mouth. Can't you can't take out your fists yet? Whoa, that's a big old jump! Holy, that's what I'm talking about. After Final Fantasy 16's little, little hop, little skip, when you press the jump button, this is perfect. I guess it probably changes depending on the gravity of the planet, or maybe I'm giving the game a little too much credit. I guess we'll find out. Can you stack boxes? Oh man, fat chance of that happening. Stackable boxes? I don't think so, Tim. Dusty, you're up. Grab a cutter and come on. With me. Dusty. Metal deposits are in that cavern. I'll shout out when I need you. Don't worry, I got this. Out of the way. Oh, sorry, I don't know how to use this thing. My bad. Hey, can I? Sorry. I'm, this thing is actually incredibly hard to use. It goes out of control really easily. Oh, now this is... This is a fun way to get going here. <laughs> I'm busy. Straight into the edge. You have learned. You have learned how to mine rocks. Diegetic well, tutorial. Time. You're with me. That was it. How did you know I was done with the the rocks? All right. I've heard. I've heard word from our from our intelligence that you finished cutting up the rocks down here. Don't you love it in games when like walking is like too slow, but running is too fast? You gotta like go like this to like follow people around. Let's go. Hella, Can I drive this? Yeah, about that. No. Uh, not if you <laughs> <consider a laughs> I would be genuinely surprised if you could just hop in a giant mining vehicle and start carving a path to the earth. What we're after? At that point, I would finally I would say, That's what I was told all right. Say. 
okay. maybe the creation engine needs to stick around maybe the game brio engine the net immerse engine needs to stick around just a little bit longer You can't drive anything? What? Are you kidding me? There's not even some kind of a dune buggy I can cruise around the planet with? Modders will take care of that, don't worry. I think. Okay, you, you're up. Something goes wrong in there, we'll come get you. How do you how do you uh feel about the the you, the royal you, anybody watching right now? How do you feel about the like minimalistic UI where they're trying to make it look sort of like the lo fi analog kind of or like early computer type? things like it looks like a firebird dashboard i don't know how i feel about it yet I, i'm kind of bouncing around on it yeah most okay it seems like mostly positive yeah alien isolation is kind of what i thought of too i think the fact that alien isolation has such a heavy use of green makes it a little bit like more interesting maybe hey look at that bouncing out of the way Oh. It said at the top left corner, use the laser to break up and all the pots in. <laughs> I think I like it in this game. I'm not a huge fan of Skyrim's minimal mi minimalistic UI. I, pref I prefer um, Oblivion's, like, kind of... Um, there's, like, the whole, like, s uh, literal scroll kind of stylization to it. Come it looks on. like a papyrus okay. with like writing on it. I like more uh, elaborate no fantasy damage. UI in games like and that. The jury's still out. You know who you are? New recruit for Argos Extractors? Ring any bells? Any of this look familiar? I uh That's what the game would I've initially assumed that it might look like, eh? It was a good guess. It's not super far off. Let's see, which one looks the most like me? Definitely this cool hipster guy. Cool twirly mustache. This looks basically almost exactly like me already. He pretty much just needs a cool hipster mustache. Holy! Holy Chad Chad. No, action second that this one's exactly what I look like. I would say that this guy. This quarterback who won state is definitely more... He should be wearing a shirt that says, ouch, honestly. Like, look at the quality of that. Uh, yeah, Biff Slam head. <laughs> I think I might have to go with him. Because I think he's, like, most accurately resembles me. I considered ma just making some kind of a monstrosity. Um, but, you know, that's, that's kind of... That's kind of played out by now. We're tired of staring at freaks. Wouldn't you rather stare at, uh, Biff? <laughs> Butch Hardbeat, Fridge McLartius, <laughs> Chad Whiteman. Pick the Kurt Russell preset. Isn't Kurt Russell already in the game? Isn't Elias Two Fexes playing him? Slab Bulkhead, Stump Speed Chunk. Butch deadlift. <laughs> well, I saw that Jenkins there too. That's it's kind of funny to imagine that like this guy, uh, which one was he? That, this guy here, that this guy might be um, just now like learning how to use a gun for the first time becoming an action hero. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm going to pick this guy and probably make him more handsome because I don't think, it, it to be me, it needs to be Maxima. <laughs> Somewhere between, mu okay, if this is between muscular and heavy, this is like fridge mode. I'd say that he's def, my, I'm definitely more of the figure. <laughs> okay. I would say, I would say I probably muscular, close to max muscular body type. I'm more of a one, I would say, in this case. Walk style. This is like the dainty walk. 
I honestly can hardly tell the difference from that. I went to immediately for this guy because I'm colorblind and I can't sit here trying to like match skin tones and hair and stuff for me. I uh, I gotta take what the game gives me. Head shapes. This the it should give you start you off with higher intelligence. Wow, that did his lower jaw just grow than in that one? Giant lower jaw could be me. More jaw, less head. Yeah, that's true. I agree. Hair. I don't think my character can really walk around with, uh, with hair like this. I don't think that that would... I don't think that would be appropriate for him. Game starts you off with a dashiki. Greetings. I've watched three episodes of Fresh Prince of Bel Air and I've decided on my new culture. That's pretty much pretty much a lot like my hair. All of the long hairs don't really <laughs> He he looks like um that guy that uh, Griffith has guts assassinate in Berserk. <laughs> this is this is fairly accurate to me. The only thing is, I don't usually get my bangs cut like that. It's tough for for people who have hair that touch their shoulders here. Yeah, this this one straight up looks like Prince Charming from from Shrek. It's yeah, there's really <laughs> All right, this one's pretty much this one's pretty accurate. If you if you look at my hair as it is now, like you could see you could see a world in which I do look like this, I would say. <laughs> this is unfortunately for us people who have blonde mustaches. Sometimes it do be like this though. That's a little nicer. That's pretty cool. That's the kind of mustache I'd like to have if Jess wouldn't get mad at me. Is there is there maybe handlebars or something in this one? It looks like it just gets fuller and fuller. Nah, these are two. <laughs> this one kind of looks a little mismatched. That's funny. <clears throat> Um, I would say that the this mustache probably is, is what I would choose to look like if I could. All right, let's see here. Ah, background. So this you can pick one of. Okay, let's see here. Beast Hunter. Uh, the Ashta of Alkila to the terror morphs that plague the whole. Oh, I didn't read the instruction manual, so I'm not really sure what any of this means. The whole of the settled systems, hostile alien life abounds. You've learned the skills to track them, find them, and take them down. Okay, starting skills. That's pro that's the important part. If fitness. In space, the greatest commodity is oxygen. The increased lung capacity gained by a regular fit physical fitness regimen is essential to survival. Oh, that's kind of ambiguous. So it's not telling you exactly what you're going to get. Ballistics. Why is an octopus tentacle holding a gun? As a symbol. That's funny. Could you imagine being approached by an octopus pointing eight guns at you, though? That is kind of scary. Centuries of conflict have proven that when it comes to threat elimination, few things. Yeah, yeah, okay. I, yeah, I know how guns. I know the thing about guns. Gastronomy. Chef. Delicious food and drinks. Okay. Bouncer. Um. Boxing, once considered a sport of kings. It's probably fist fighting. I don't know. I don't know. Unarmed in these games, I rarely rarely use it. Aside from New Vegas, but I doubt this game has, like, displacer fists, though. 
Uh, security is no doubt actually useful. And more fitness. Bounty hunter. Piloting. Targeting control systems. Boost pack training. This one sounds pretty good. It's kind of what I'm leaning towards of the three. Why would a chef... Why would dueling... I guess because they use knives to cut onions. Somehow that makes them good at knife fighting. Combat medic. Pistol certification, medicine, wellness. Um, I don't know what the di I don't know what wellness. Maybe that's just increased health. Not sure. Cyber runner. Stealth security and theft. That sounds pretty good too, actually. The only thing is I don't usually like wantonly steal everything in these types of games, um, but it could still be useful. <clears throat> I've, I have not seen Lockstock in Two Smoking Barrels, to be honest with you, although it has been recommended to me. Cybernetist, medicine security, lasers, that's cool, that's cool. Diplomat, I do like the persuasion options, although I find that Bethesda is not um, doesn't have as much of a focus on that type of thing as, uh, say, Obsidian, say Black Isle. Lasers surveying. What is astrodynamics? Um, <clears throat> coax more capability of the ship's grav drive. See, if I knew what any of, like, this type of thing meant, I feel like... I feel like it'd be better. Shotgun, boxing, theft, nah. Geology, oh, that's for just for mining, probably. Weightlifting? Oh, carry capacity, okay. Carry capacity is good to have, but... I don't know. I'm still looking at bounty, like, bounty hunter to me looks kind of still the most appealing. Weightlifting, piloting, ballistic weapon systems. Oh, this is actually not bad either. I like boost pack training, though. Because I like uh, using the jet packs in the games. <clears throat> Space trucker. Yeah, that would be pretty good. This is Jack Barton coming to you. After a long haul, see? Pilgrim, Professor, Ronin. Let me guess what Ronin's going to be. It's gonna be melee, um, stealth, and I actually don't even know what the third one would be. Yeah, melee, stealth, and a oh, scavenging. Okay, wouldn't have guessed that. Yeah, it's bounty hunter. It is. Otherwise, I'll be here all day. <clears throat> all right. Alien DNA. I like that the hair kind of wiggles when you. Shake him around. These are the traits, so you gotta be careful. You only get three. You volunteered for a controversial experiment. You start with increased health and oxygen, but healing and food items aren't as effective. You own a luxurious, customizable home. Unfortunately, it comes with a 125,000 credit mortgage that has to be paid weekly. <laughs> it sounds like a bit of a commitment I'm not ready for too real you are deeply connected to the feelings of others performing actions your companion likes will result in a temporary increase in combat effectiveness but performing actions they don't like okay well uh your people person exerting yourself uses less oxygen when adventuring with others you gain access to special free star collective dialogue options and better rewards but crime bounty towards other factions is greatly increased. Doesn't sound so bad. <clears throat> You've earned the attention of an annoying, adoring fan who will show up randomly and jab at you incessantly. The plus side, he'll join your ship's crew and give you gifts. I mean, I, this I'm sure that there's going to be at least several people who want me to pick this one. So... So I'm, oh, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, I'll pick it. I will shoot him and kill him, though, if if he doesn't shut the hell up. 
<clears throat> you need your time alone. Exerting yourself uses less oxygen when adventuring alone. More when I find myself rarely using companions in Bethesda games, but maybe they're good in this game, so I don't want to. I don't want to have to make that commitment. Your parents are alive and well. You can visit them at their home, but you will automatically send 2% of your credits on them every week. I mean, I like ones like this where it's just like it just adds random stuff to the game. I kind of dig that. Neon Street, right? You grew up. I'm. Sh I bet you that kid stuff and hero worship are probably like two of the most uh, picked traits. <clears throat> Special dialogue options, better rewards, crime bounty from other factions increased. All right, same as for Star Collective. Um, Sanctum Universum. You gain access to a chest full of items in New Atlantis, but lose access to the House of the Enlightened Chest. I don't. Actually, no, what that really it's the same thing, but reversed again. Yeah. Um, I don't know what that means. Serpent's Embrace. Grav jumping provides a temporary boost to health and oxygen, but are lowered if... Don't continue jumping regularly like an addiction, <laughs> okay? Your body's become acclimated to space. Health and oxygen are increased when in space, but decreased on the surface. You spend probably a ton of time on the surface. Uh, system will repair itself to full health when it's below 50%. Duh, duh, duh. Another faction one in Wanted. Someone put a price on your head and a word is spread. Occasionally, armed mercenaries will show up to try to kill you, but being cornered gives you an edge. When your health is low, you do extra damage. That could be kind of fun, too. I like that one. It adds sort of just another little wrench to the whole machine. <coughs> what? It sounds like free loot. Yeah, I'm kind of imagining the, uh, the Legion coming after me in New Vegas and me taking all of their thermic lances. Sounds pretty good. I think I'll go with that one. <clears throat> All right. Bet you were expecting a quiet job compared to your last gig. Bounty hunter turned space miner. Huh. Well, you got the sample. <clears throat> Client's on his way. Then we all get paid. You remember anything that happened? It was amazing. The cutscene was happening. It was colors and lights. It was like 2005. A space adventure. Easy there, high flyer. Probably just the endorphins kicking in when you passed out. Don't go having an experience on me. You'll walk it off. More importantly, we got what we were looking for. All this trouble for that stupid thing? Sure don't look like much. Never mind what it looks like. It's worth more than this mine has pulled in all Put my, will be my foot on a like subwoofer that I never use down there. And it's like scooted away from me. It's like my foot rest. There we go. That's better. Alright. Frame rate slightly lower than in cave. Wow. Holy mackerel. Wait. The explorers group? I'm a <laughs> I'm a hot guy, that's for sure. <clears throat> Not a joke. You're just too young to know better. Hey, I'm just saying they got a reputation. Hell, I bet half the crew here doesn't... It's illegal really to steal a staple gun. Lock me up and throw away the key. Oh, I didn't mean to threaten anybody. Yeah, but come on. Exploring wow. space? Who does that anymore? Dude. We've already got complicated There's... They got physics? They got physics? Wow, like Fizz X, actually. Whoa, you don't look good. Did you say that to me? I don't understand how you can walk up to somebody who... Oh, he won't look at me. There we go. Who looks like this and say, you don't look good. For me, if I walked by somebody who looked like that, I'd give him right, finger guns and say, Airlock. Looking good! Put your helmet on. Client is here. Let's... 
Ooh. Lower right to access your inventory. This is interesting. Interesting little menu. How many times are we going to hear that little uh, swell, I wonder? Yeah, frame rate has... Uh, I don't know, now that, now that I've become like a frame rate elitist ever since I got this monitor. So I never had like... I don't even know what the... The refresh rate is, it's like a hundred and... 140 maybe 144 I think So now so now I'm like It's all about that frame rate life, you know, I'm a frame rate man. What can I say? <clears throat> can you jump over the rails? Oh, yeah Todd has allowed it question is when can I jetpack when can I stop walking around with these sticks in the mud and start cruising around been a long time <laughs> yes it has that mine on Bindi, right oh Jess you're just repeating big frame rate propaganda oh you can't even get on top of the Vasco Unbelievable. Right here. The new guy found it. Had right. And everything went cool. Just like grabbing those. DLSS. Bendy. That's NVIDIA only, right? No I uh, unfortunately have a Radeon card. I don't think DLSS works. I've got like AMD Fidelity right, FX or something, which is like this, the cheap imitation. The human eye can only see at 15 FPS. Well, that's good news for the Kingsfield developers. That means that they're running at blistering speeds. That's why I like you, Lynn. All business. Barrett, the scanners on the frontier are reporting a ship. Somebody quiet this robot down. What happens if I shoot? I gotta make sure F5 is the, the quick lit quick save key because every once in a while the game will just be like yeah f5 the classic quick load key and i'm like no f5 and f9 as it should be however is crouch set to c knowing bethesda it's not nope sickening what a twisted decision to have it on left control do pinky gymnastics just to Get down in the mud. Don't worry, everybody. I'm trained for situations like this. I'm a great guy. Everybody get down. I've grabbed a weapon. I'm gonna turn maybe a couple of settings down here. I think it automatically was showing me before. It was automatically setting certain things. Uh, I don't know. What's the what's the stuff that'll make it run better? V-Sync off? Might be good. V-Sync seems to, like, kind of do something different in every game that it's in. Yeah, I don't really know if that uh, made any kind of a difference. V-Sync is, like, these days... I don't even... I used to know exactly what V-Sync th th did. It, like... Um... They would just get rid of screen tearing sometimes at the cost of a frame rate now it's like the it does so many different things to your frame rate and sometimes it doesn't sometimes there is no screen tearing uh let's see does anybody contact shadows yeah contact shadows probably can afford to turn that down
better force v-sync and driver settings i also find that to be kind of hit and miss with radeon's control panel for some reason sometimes the settings work and then other times they just they just don't and i'm not really ever sure why hey what's up pretty cody how's it going everybody should watch pretty cody's stranger of paradise video that he just made i was very entertained by it and it's about time somebody put a put out a, a sincere article on uh stranger of paradise <clears throat> all right let's try this mm, maybe a minor difference i don't know could just be really busy scenes like this it's not that bad honestly also i uh i forget how to play the game Can I, uh, favorite? Okay, good stuff. You can actually use hotkeys. You don't have to open up like a wheel. Everybody get down. Go back to your homes. You melee. Check the binding for that. The game gave me a 30 minute tutorial on mining rocks, but it's not telling me how to smack somebody in the face with my pistol grip. V. I guess that's not too unusual. Oh yeah? Have one of these. That's what I thought. It's a little loud here. Let me know uh, if I need to change volume, by the way. I'm gonna collect a bunch of rescue axes to make a necklace later. You guys are terrible at this. Oh no. V, V is so far away from my fat hands. Black leather jumpsuit, nice. Oh yeah. Soundscape kind of quiet, okay, well, I mean. It might be bad for the sand stage, but it's good for the stream. Did you just get lasered over top of the railing? <clears throat> yeah, once the smoke effects from that ship went away, it, the frame rate seemed to stabilize. <clears throat> um, let's see. Did I get a weapon? Maelstrom? Yeah. Chorus. I'm gonna I'm gonna switch my melee key too. I don't know if I need the middle mouse button as like a dedicated third person key. It's been a while since I played like a Bethesda game, so it'll take me probably a little bit to get used to the controls again. A rescue axe, hell yeah. You don't need to you don't need melee when you got all these bad boys. Um oh man. I wish you could just move them all over. It's my lack of foresight that led us here. Oh wait, I want the leather. The leather suit. Oh, baby. Alright, so ready. But as I'm gonna I'm about to rescue some motherfuckers. No power attacks? Maybe it's hidden. Maybe it's a perk. This attack better not be coming out of our pay. Why would the attack come out of your pay? I don't even know what that means. Hope this attack doesn't come out of our pay. Sorry guys, we were attacked, so I'm gonna have to dock that from your pay. Oh yeah, no, that makes that makes sense. I can't get mad about that. Yes. And, uh, POV. Go ahead and set that to V. Because I prefer it to be middle mouse button. <clears throat> of course Barrett was being followed. Every time. Supervisor Lin has diplomatic immunity to my rescue axe. Well, that was some fine work on the pressure. 
You dug up the artifact, right? That means you saw it. The visions? You're coming with me to Constellation. You're part of this now. I don't want to fight Benny. I want to go uh, wander off to Prim. Sign me up. Nothing wrong with honest work. Although, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. See your point. Oh, no, Barrett. No. You think you're just going to take off after the mess you caused? <clears throat> all right. I guess I did just put you all on the Crimson Fleet hit list. How about I stay and I send your Dusty here in my place? I, 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 I know, I know, but he's not some miner anymore, Lynn. Soon as he touches having like an rock, imaginary conversation. Don't tell me you can't feel it. Fine. It's a deal. Get out of here, Dusty. You're on to bigger things. Okay. Th thanks for everything. Why? Don't you get it? Just go. Oh, all I didn't right? need to skip that. Figure Melee button skips. You touch that rock. Well, none of that settled. Vasco, get him to the lodge. No deviations unless absolutely necessary, okay? Protocol Indigo. Indigo. Again. Very well. Oh, and hey, take this. You'll find it very useful out there. And it even tells the time. Whoa, a pip boy. Very cool. A Casio. Hey, look at that. The watch fits you perfectly. Now, questions? Have you heard of the High Elves? <clears throat> I guess I should learn See, that's the about things. The settled systems. Too easy to take everything for granted. <clears throat> While everyone else is busy playing politics, we're the ones braving the unknown, charting the vastness of space. Without us, the galaxy is just a big room with the lights turned out. Wow. Beautifully said. Beautifully said. I wish I had my my Discord soundboard. I would offer a golf clap. <clears throat> Come on, because oh, didn't notice, dang it! They I keep the accidentally hitting the melee no button. I never should have mapped it to middle mouse. If, I, if I'd known it would skip dialogue. Also need you. <clears throat> this mystery is only getting bigger each step we take, and you're part of it now. All right, I'm done pretending I care about all of these. Hmm, minutia. Let's go. Hey there, let me tell you about my robot friend. He is my 15 gigahertz pal. Uh, yeah, as Barrett a bounty hunter. to say, it's as easy as learning to ride a bike. I will attempt to boost the shields just in case there are any difficulties. Let's take a closer look at this. You can look at the sandwich. The mouse controls for rotation. Uh, this is such a, this is such a like non-issue. This is such a like granular thing to complain about but the way that the mouse controls for for looking at things in your inventory reminds me of when dark souls originally released on pc what the mouse controls were like where like it could only either read a y input or an x input at any given time like it just couldn't like read both at the same time but that's fine we're, we're not going to be looking at food the whole time Not that going on the internet and looking at pictures of food on Google Images isn't one of my favorite pastimes, but there, there'll be plenty of time for that later. Let's take off. And not seamlessly, because they never said you could do that. Yeah, Yakuza's bread looked crazy. The amount of time they spent on that bread chewing animation was wild. All right. <clears throat> Nothing 
Um, we are in orbit. It might be wise to test all controls and systems to ensure they are not on the verge of catastrophic failure. I can step you through the entire process, or if you're already an experienced pilot, just power up all the systems and we'll be on our way. Left Alt and WASD to switch between systems and allocate power. Okay. Interesting. Oh, oh, I see. Laser, ballistic, missile. Requires power. Allocating power um, is under your direct control. Gravity. Let's go over the engines. Oh, he's about to tell me. Engines control our maximum speed. Try increasing and decreasing our or not. relative velocity. Can you buy different ships in this game at least? Or like soup your ship up? Draw your attention to the HUD. You'll notice a speed indicator in the lower left with a gauge that goes up and down as you adjust the throttle. Try to center Guy, the I'm a bounty hunter. so that it lines up with the center of the vertical bars to its right. What is that? The speed limit? Even in space, the meddling bureaucracy has to ruin my simple pleasures. Like speeding. Yeah! Gentlemen, set a course for space. Try adjusting power to the shields. Notice more power increases their strength. Shields protect the ship from hull damage. Without a hull, but be vaporized. Shield health is displayed in the lower right. Hull damage is below it. I was looking at chat, I don't know if he told me what he's like. Adequate okay. pilot. Are you familiar with ship combat tactics? Because that spawning enemy bringing its weapons to bear. Ooh. Okay, switch to laser. How do I like do it? Oh, this is just always a laser. If you can keep the enemy ship centered on the HUD, we can lock in to fire a homing missile. Okay. The enemy shields are down, Captain. Ballistic weaponry excels at damaging the hull. I don't know. I don't really understand. If you can use lasers and missiles at will, then what's the purpose of like being able to switch? Does that just like make them more powerful? Switching them at the lower left there. On surviving your first starship assault, Captain. We should search the wreckage for spare parts and other salvage. Well, thanks, amigo. I appreciate that. Yeah, if anybody who likes the stream could like the stream, that would help the stream. So that'd be great. Fly close to shipwrecks and press E to loot them. Looting shipwreck. I gotta play uh, Sunless Skies at some point. The game looks really cool. Two more Crimson Fleet ships are jumping into our location, Captain. Am I looting the ship? Oh, oh, great! That will never do. <laughs> sure about that lower left stuff. I don't know if anybody said anything about it. I haven't been able to pay attention to chat. There's been too much cacophony. Enemy missiles locked on. Man, that Barrett guy sent me into my death. Yeah, this seems fun. This seems fun. I just don't have a handle on anything yet. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Okay, so you can... 
The missile locking happens independently of whether they're selected. Oh, that, okay, so that lets you distribute power between different systems on your ship. So if I wanted to, like, soup up my missiles, I could take one away from, I guess that's ballistics. We will need to deal with the local Crimson Fleet, Captain. A recent scan indicates an abandoned facility on the nearby moon of Crete, a perfect staging area for pirates. to open the okay star map the the ui is kind of like minimalistic and really busy at the same time i don't really know how to explain it <clears throat> spaceship debris sure let's go oh let's not go <clears throat> okay, no, don't shoot it away this time, me. <clears throat> slow, oh, slow down. Not reverse. No, zero speed. Stop, stop clicking it, Daniel. There we go. Just take your credits from your ship. Don't ask me yet. <laughs> Show me. Show me. All right. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is, uh, all of the controls are a little bit, a little bit unintuitive to me. There might be, like, hotkeys I'm not aware of. Let's click on Crete. Oh, okay. Shut course to Crete. Oh, did I? Now I have to click the travel button? You gotta hold it down for a second. Okay. <laughs> Much easier than Maybe I should use it. I do have a controller. Maybe I should just use the controller. I don't know. I, I vastly prefer using mouse and keyboard in most cases, but. facility with our Crimson Fleet captain is on the surface. Why is it telling me I can open the star map again? I just did. <clears throat> so do I have to like do I have to like go in real time now no because you there's no such thing as real time okay now we're like back to planet view okay I thought I already oh you Traveling to a planet and landing on it require two sort of consecutive star map entries, I guess. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't consider playing Neo with a mouse and keyboard. I've never played any of those, like, excuse me, of those Souls likes with a mouse and keyboard. I can't even imagine. Attempting to play something like Elden Ring. I'm gonna see if there's a way to make it so that you don't have to like hold it down. I don't really like that all games do that now. Um. No, it doesn't look like it. I prefer just pressing the key. I don't like like holding it down for a second.
No, it doesn't look like it's an option. No, I don't need tea. It's just morning. I always have like... <laughs> when I just wake up. Talking for a while doesn't help. <clears throat> and Jess, look, there's crabs. There's travel bites for us to destroy with rescue axes. Collect crab. Oh, Vasco, you've heard of personal space. Perhaps, uh, perhaps the cutter. Let's go ahead and send this to the other side of the earth. Right. Parentheses. Perfect. Okay, this is not a mineable thing. It's just like a piece of, like, coral. It's just there. Be careful, Captain. Alien. Um, oh, scan. Scanning things. Very cool. Each unique item scan progresses your survey data of the planet. Completed survey data can be sold for credits. Scanner mode also unlocks additional features. Oh. How is diplomacy contingent on using the scanner? Features are often unpredictable. <laughs> Maybe diplomacy in this game doesn't mean, like, in dialogue. Maybe it means, like... Like, you can, like, coax creatures or something into, uh, being nice to you? I don't know. It's, like, animal handling or something. Oh, holding it opens flashlight. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. No, I didn't mean to do that. I was trying to scan you, you. <laughs> I was trying to scan you. Oh, wait, no, I don't want to use console commands. What's happening? I'm sorry, brother. I had to do it to, wait, what are? Oh, R is both reload and transfer button. I was trying to reload my rifle, but then opened up another menu. <laughs> Let's see. Hey, the control, I like that it uses the, I can already tell that it uses like the, the DualShock 5's like haptic feedback or whatever. That's kind of nice. Did I just double jump? No, it's just got low, low gravity. Oh no. Wait, every time you want to switch a weapon on the controller, it has to like pause the game and go into a menu? Is there a way to just quickly switch weapons? Let me, let me check the, the controls here. Okay, melee, throw a grenade, activate, reload, power. Oh yeah, you can't do it on the fly, I guess. Why, uh, so triangles jump. Triangles jump as is um, tradition for Beth has, uh, but yeah, I don't really, was I supposed to, like, scan that guy? Because, like, <clears throat> like, is it, is this, is it scanned now? Are these things all scanned? I mean, I know my character already knows what lead is, but I guess flora and fauna are at zero out of three, so I guess I never, oh, you have to click E. Uh, okay. 
All right, uh, that was my bad, I guess. You might need this. permanently have my scanner out I guess you never know dust root can I not scan the dust root oh you gotta be so one thing about the UI I kind of wish that they were more clear about oh never mind it does say it does you have to be within 10 meters to scan I get it Range 10M. Okay. Yeah, I won't I won't go ahead and complain about something that is being addressed before my very eyes. Show us the map. Pretty sure that this game doesn't have a map. Somebody I heard that you that this game like there's no local map. It's like just a it shows like the terrain of the planet and quest markers, but they there's no local map. Which is, <clears throat> frankly, very weird. That's, that's a pretty standardized feature. It's a braille map, perfect. I'll just, let me just rub my fingers all over my computer screen here. All flying under the same banner. They are typically unscrupulous and violent. Then we will destroy them. We will blow them to smithereens. Maybe we can scan them and sell, sell what we've learned. draw your own map <laughs> let me get my grid paper out do my own eye of the beholder style dungeon map They're still using the technology that powered Skyrim's clairvoyant spell to give me this breadcrumb trail. If it ain't broke, and even if it is, I don't know, like, the relative value of 90 credits, but I guess I'll just take everything. In the future, you'll bring ammo to work. Wait, don't blacklist the stream. I didn't mean anything by that. Runs great in these small hallways. It is alien. It is alien isolation. I need a flamethrower. I'm scared. What if Xeno guy attacked me through the vent? <laughs> Are you alive? I'll just have to take her structural material. It never gets any easier. Lars Nelson. The section of Dr. Loud's latest find revealed a creature that was 
just as she suspected, based on its outward appearance, in evolution of the microscopic hydrothermal worm, but her research also suggested a species that evolved in distinct sages, possibly growing significantly as it did. So the question now remains, which version of the creature did Dr. Lourdes dissect, and what maximum size could it achieve? 105 credits. Don't mind if I do. I, I I don't know if I like can definitively say that the, the game is bad. I mean, like it's a, definitely a slow opening, but like for me, I don't know. A lot of the times these like open world games, you have to like have the full context of what's going on and like all of the different gameplay systems before you can make a judgment call about that kind of thing. At least that's how I feel about it. So like, yeah. It, it's not the best opening in the world. Bethesda never seems to have the best openings in the world, but like, I don't know. It seems like there could be some, some cool stuff uh, that unravels. Maybe it sucks too. Sometimes things seem great at first and end up sucking ass after 20 hours. Found the pirates. I haven't even used my jetpack yet. What just exploded? <laughs> yeah, the, <laughs> that's true. That creep. I'd say there's a difference between there's a difference between a slow opening. Or rather, there's a difference between, like, a well-paced opening and an opening that immediately just devalues um, all of the coolest and best and most interesting stuff of the game. So, uh, Fallout 4 sort of had, it was like a mixture of, like, a slow opening and just, like, I mean, the, the only example I can really think of is like the power armor and the death claw and the minigun, but it is a pretty profound example. Where it's just like... The game really... Really blows its load quick there in the beginning. Emails. Sorry guys, I'm running a stream here. I can't afford to go through 15 emails. Oh, 10 pound dumbbell. It's worth as much as like a serving tray. Yeah, the, the way power armor worked in the game was cool. I do like the I do like the idea of, like, power armor basically representing a miniature, like, battle tank suit. That was, that's essentially what it's sold as in Fallout 1, but due to technology limitations, it's just, it's just armor in that game. It gives you some stat buffs and debuffs. But then in Fallout 3 in New Vegas, it's also just armor. So I, do, I actually consider that to be, like, a positive change. I like the way power armor work. It was like more of a responsibility and a commitment to take care of it and to actually use it. It wasn't something you just like casually uh, slapped on or off in any given situation. Fill in all open slots in every layer to open the lock. Uh. Okay. Oh. Oh, did you pick removed? I don't get like punished for 
for being bad, do I? Oh no, I do get punished for being bad. Not in a weird way. Okay, I guess I don't really. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't. Oh, I don't have any digit picks anyway. Oh, so it's fine. I don't really understand what that, what happened. <clears throat> but the good news is, I'm sure it's like seven millimeter ammo. I think that's what this gun uses. Seven point seven seven. Can you pop the ball? All right. You should be able to pop the ball. I mean, come on. 2023 let's pop the ball move it or lose it Vasco <clears throat> how's the hi hello captain uh so far the game is a bit pretty slow opening i'll be honest Us, a lot of people are very quick to uh really disparage the game which i'm not sure i agree with that i haven't played it enough to make that call it might be absolutely terrible but like i just prefer to have the broader context of everything in the game and how it all works together and the longevity of it because sometimes things that are fun for an hour are horribly dull after uh you know, 20 hours. So I don't know, maybe all of these disparate elements of the game integrate really well in a way that like unfolds and becomes much more fun once you have access to like more upgrades and the ability to go do things that you want to do. I've, I've, there's a, a thought experiment is every time somebody has an incredibly strong opinion about Starfield, whether it's positive or negative, if you remove the fact that Bethesda is the developer, instantly everybody will become more rational. And I truly believe that. If Bethesda didn't develop the game, then the fact that it got seven out of 10 from IGN and GameSpot, instantly people would be more um, reasonable about that. They would be okay with that. And um, if you take away that Bethesda, the fact that Bethesda develop the game, I feel like a lot of people would be far more willing to give the game the benefit of the doubt. But instead, a lot of people are just kind of like instantly assuming it's the shittiest game of the year and uh, overinflated and stuff. And I don't think it's good to make those assumptions in either direction. Can I sneak attack? What? Okay, I guess not. Oh, beautiful. I'm pressing O or zero? Zero. Med pack button is zero. Is zero. Could I have? Could I have been misreading this? Or did they really choose the worst fucking med pack button of all time? Or did they like auto assign it to one of my quick keys? Wait, okay, yeah, they assigned it to one of my quickies, I guess. I'm sure that there's a better button than zero. I maybe, <laughs> I might accidentally hit click it though, if it's one, I don't know. That's a weird button, man.
There's not a kiss button, but I hear you can raid ships eventually, which sounds cool. I'm torn. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, pretty Cody. Um, the good news is that if you play on PC, inevitably the dedicated kiss mod will surely will surely rear its head within the next couple of days if it's not already out. Reshade plus kiss. All-encompassing mod allows for kissing. Kissing inanimate objects and people. Warning. You may be shot and killed. Detection of enemy has dropped unexpectedly. Begin search protocol. It is a shame exploration requires so much bloodshed. The worst thing about this game's discourse by far is how, like, childish the console wars over it are. Like, I'm seeing, like, grown adults engaging in console wars on, on Twitter. You have to get a hobby. You have to develop a personality. I'm begging you. You cannot be console warring as an adult. You cannot. You are, um, imagine, imagine if you will, somebody who is losing sleep because a product from a corporation that they have decided to arbitrarily to align themselves with may have a nine next to its name instead of an eight or an eight instead of a seven on Metacritic. And like waking up and like going on the internet just to be mad about things. Can you imagine that life? That's the most like disturbing thing to me. So for everybody who says, oh, we're so much better and we're so much smarter and humanity is like constantly just like flatly better. It's like the context is different, but I don't know if I don't know if better is the right way to put it. I, I, there, there are people threatening to kill a man because he said a game is just good, but not great. So true, Mushroom King. That is one of the greats. Why you have to be made? Can't put it any simpler than that. It's weird, but because Nintendo fans are actually kind of coming out on top, looking like the most mature group of people over the last few months to me. The Nintendo fans just are just playing games right now. They're just like going on their switch of playing games and yeah they might be playing some games at like 23 frames per second but they're having fun there is no console war with the nintendo it's blue ocean for them there's no more genesis sony and xbox people yell at each other while nintendo fans are happy to get a port of risen like 10 years later that runs terribly because it's a game and it's fun that's crazy Nintendo, the true counterculture. Nintendo's punk, haven't you heard? Oh, see, Dread the Day, you're doing the thing right there. You're doing the thing. Careful with the thing. Just let me sneak attack. Just let me sneak attack. Just let me sneak attack. Oh no! Uh, it's an electric axe. I shocked him. I believe the enemy is nearby. 
Oh, really? You, this is the enemy near me, you don't say. <laughs> Thank you, robot man, for your assistance in this matter. Pirate ghosts? Not anymore. Do you have any grenades yet? Nah, we'd probably stay on the UI. <laughs> I know it hit the pole, but it sounded like his head made a huge bonk sound when I hit it. See what kind of gear I haven't really been looking at what I've been getting. Pirate assault spacesuit. I guess that's <clears throat> well. I only need airborne because I don't have it yet. Oxygen is consumed. Is that that's just stamina? I I assume. Tunnel mining pack. <laughs> I am a laboratory assistant. Open your mouth and say, ah. Uh. Sure, physical damage seems to be the thing that's happening to me. Oh, there we go. I did get a grin in the auto. Now is G grenade throwing key or are they gonna make it left parenthesis? Yeah, okay, it's G, it's G. I just named myself after my YouTube username. I didn't feel like toiling over a hot name screen. Terror Morph? Could they have picked a more on the nose name for this new alien species? <laughs> <laughs> be funny if that's what they they were referring to those little trilobite things that we saw I'm scooting around outside nearby we could make use of fear the terror more ah! <laughs> oh. You're dead. We're all dead. I'm dead. The comms relay has been trashed. The whole room is trashed. We can't call for help. This is like way more like alien esque than I was expecting. <laughs> Okay, I'm quick saving before this damn lock picking minigame. Okay. Can you switch? Oh, you can switch the digipick you're currently using. Okay. I did it, everybody. I did it. Yay. Modified cra- Oh, it's got a suppressor. Nice. Sneaky time. I'm definitely gonna go for something kind of stealthy, even though that's not working out very well for me at present. Uh, modified Kraken. Set that to my pistol. There we go. Oh wow, that's like an Uzi. I was expecting a pistol. All right, well, I mean, hey, it is what it is. It's a big old gun. The return of the stealth archer, the most effective build. 
every race is primed to become a stealth archer the minute they get taken to Skyrim. Science crate. What's that? Oh, it's just my science crate. It's full of science. You wouldn't really get it as a civilian. And a rare item. Veterans deep mining space helmet. That's, you can tell the difference just by looking at them. You ran out of oxygen? Oh, shit. CO2 buildup. Uh oh. All right, no more exertion. This looks like a. This looks like an easy You're situation to deal with. Me. The frontier has a new captain. You working with Barrett, or did you pry the ship keys out of his cold, dead hands? Oh no, you see. We weren't really after Barrett. We're after that ship. Every Crimson Fleet rook hears about the frontier. That constellation keeps treasure hidden in the cargo bays. The loot from a hundred planets. That statement is partially correct. The frontier has been to many planets and moons, but the only things held in the cargo bays are spare parts, dust, desiccated food particles, and a variety of species of Ant. We got dust in there? I don't care what kind of lies Barrett programmed that robot to say. We're taking that ship. There's no need to get violent. What, who would pick three unironically? Why even include that option? That's there just to like have it. <laughs> ah. Eh. Try persuade. You're not talking us out of this score. Right. Turns. I'm not falling for that. Your ship is loaded, and we want it. Sorry, but what do the pluses indicate? So you got past a few rooks. Who cares? Auto persuade. There's a chance for you to fill the pips with the plus numbers. Is it random? Random chance? Is it like a based on a percentage or like something like that? This whole thing is starting to cost more than I'd <laughs> like. I like that he's like already showing weakness. Nobody wants that. Here. All right. Guess I did. It's random, but the higher the number, the lower the chance. Okay, good to know. Thank you for explaining. To travel to Constellations headquarters without Prince and Fleet interference. Oh, you can just like auto travel to your ship at any point in time. Wait, a succulent? I thought that I was running out of oxygen. Wouldn't a, like, regular ass earth succulent require oxygen in order to, like, be alive? Oh, 
CO2 and sunlight. I knew that. I knew all about plants. It is creating oxygen for the plants. True, I should be able to take my helmet off when I'm right next to the succulent. I should be able to just huff it, huff its oxygen. You will not be able to walk at full speed with your pack that full. I'm literally walking at full speed right now. I, I do not notice a perceptible difference. Oh, all it does is make it so you can't fast trap. I understand. Okay, I guess I can afford to drop some of this stuff. Rattler. Hey, what's up, baby arms? Thank you for that. Wibby is wump? What? What does that even mean? I'm s what was that? It's me saying it again? I'm nervous that it's making me say something bad now. Wibby is wump. What's so funny about that? I don't get it. Just loves it. Whatever it means. Um. Who needs the Grendel? Actually, it's worth slightly more, so maybe I will actually hang on to that one. It's probably kind of heavy. No way, I can drop the dumbbell. <laughs> Where's the dumbbell? I guess there's a time and a place for everything, and the time to drop the dumbbell is right now. Yes. Background, I chose the uh, Captain, bounty hunter. Background. I appreciate that, Todd. Yeah, the central menu HUD, I'm not overly fond of. Set course for adventure. Starship Frontier, this is United Colony Security. Whoops. Maintain course and prepare to be scanned. Scan complete. No contraband detected. It's a good thing we got rid of that dumbbell before coming into Empire Space. Do I I gotta go to the menu again, I guess now? Okay, yeah, I guess I do. Strictly no gains colony. <laughs> Oh, the future is grim. Sorry guys, rescue axe, not a threat. And he is our new captain. My crew can take a look at your ship, and you can stop by the trade authority kiosk if you get to offload some cargo. Does my ship need repairs? Okay, no problem. Let's see. Uh is this like my overall Real health of the ship. No, I don't think it needs repairs. Should be alright, I think. Hull, I guess, would be the 
thing. I would try to viewport. They'll be on your left once you get into the plaza. The trade authority runs a vending kiosk next to my booth. It's just off to the side near the ramp. Besides that, Jemison Mercantile is your closest shop. Some if you're looking interesting the voice acting. That's further in, past the security checkpoints. Everything looks good here. I'll be at my booth if you need me. All right. Can't see feet. Infuriating. A mod will fix that. This unprovoked attack on a United Colonies research facility will not go unanswered. We'll get you settled into your new assignments as soon as possible. Why is there a kid here? You, Bobby, that includes me. Whose kid is this? Some of these kids just wandering around. It's in the middle dead. of a meeting here. They just took a different shuttle. I'll see oh, when they get never mind. Sorry, kid. Uh, I'm out of here. I can't deal with this. It's too heavy a topic for my character. You will be scanned as you enter the city. Please keep moving. That guy's circumventing of this NPC is uh, my favorite part of Bethesda games, the way they move around. <laughs> I get that a lot. Vasco, every time I turn to the right, you're like inside my face. Oh no, the same problem is happening to the citizens. Vasco, you really need to back off, okay? Hey, I'm at the security check. I'm on the right side of history here. Yeah. You can use these foam cups. You make a dumbbell out of many of these. Oh, let's go. Is there any way that uh, I can like turn Vasco into a toaster or something and just have him stay on board? Some way I could turn him into like a magic bullet. Reconstitute my uh, fruit and vegetables into something else. At last. Oh, Kawabunga. Ah, refreshing. Wash away the guilt. Wash away the pain. This air this area looks very nice, actually. Aesthetically, I find this to be quite pleasing. The question is, can you get up this spiral thing? And if the answer is no, then Well, I'm just gonna do it anyway. Alright, no, never mind. I've had enough. Basco can be removed by pressing Alt F4. Hey, that's the same set of keys that trimmed my armor for me in RuneScape. I'm in the middle of something here. Do a barrel roll. <laughs> you, you picked the one minute I'm not in my ship. I'll try anyway. Ugh. It's the best I can do. This is new For a two dollar super chat, I will attempt to do a barrel roll on foot. It provides free transportation throughout the city. We can take it directly to the Mast District. This looks like the world of X Ten. It's yeah, like the utopian. <laughs> True. And welcome to Terra Brew. How may I serve you? There's something about the way she's. Sl uh, oh, there we go. She made eye contact right at the very end. Yeah. Very yeah, scary. Sorry. Certainly. Please take your time. Wow, Todd, you really outdid yourself with this. In the future, you need to put hot warnings on hot coffees. America runs the legal system in space. Now I don't need a cappuccino. What's your favorite thing on the menu? Yes, small talk customer. That's me. Corporate policy requires me to state that everything Terabrew offers is my favorite. Oh, what a dystopian future this is. Hello. Can I zoom in? Oh. 
Sorry, I can't leave. There's a gigantic robot blocking me from getting out of my chair. Hey! Where do you think you're going? Unbelievable. I don't think any game will ever do corporate dystopia quite as shittily as the Outer Worlds. It is the good news. But Bethesda would have to try to to do it as like lame as that game did it. I'm still convinced the only reason that game got like rave reviews is because it was like the only RPG that came out that year. Yeah, let's get all this intro stuff done. I'm sorry for any Outer Worlds fans. That's just my personal opinion. <laughs> maybe, maybe I was in a bad mood when I was playing it. I got it for free with my last graphics card. I don't think that even happens any- do they still give out games, uh with graphics cards these days. I remember getting like some pretty crazy deals back it's back when graphics cards were still like four or $500 for like a high-end GPU. Which uh, seems like an eternity ago, but uh, no, it really wasn't that long ago. I gotta turn some of the settings down. The way the game's running bugs me. My graphics card was high-end a year ago. I don't really know what the crowd density I bet you is a huge one here. Render resolution scale, like, what's even the point of playing at a higher resolution if it's gonna like... Yeah, turning crowd density down to medium immediately was a big help. We may be in a United 1080 Ti. I never owned one, but like that's that was that's one of the most like impressive. That card and the uh, Core i5 3570K are two pieces of PC hardware that had like longevity far beyond I think what anybody ever would have expected. The front door should unlock if you hold up the watch that Barrett gave you. I have messaged the other members of Constellation. Vasco, they will be shut the hell up. I'm so inside. sick of you telling me every little thing. You know, just let me open the door with the watch, okay? I'll find the other lodge members. You think I need you here explaining every little thing to me? You monstra, you aberration of nature, you sickening automaton. You... And all the robots were a mistake. A mistake that will be corrected in short order. For I will approach the lodge and I will tell them I will join them only on the basis that all robots are destroyed, you fool. I'm gonna go refill my coffee. Uh, and take a pee break, so. Come back and there will be many more exciting, crazy things happening. You're not going to believe your eyes, so don't go anywhere.
All right, we're back with some more Peasant's Quest. Just what the people have been asking for. The new Vitalextrix video game. I got sleep in my, mega sleep in my eyes right now. Everyone will be in the library, just inside. If Barrett were here, he'd probably tell you that you're part of something bigger now. And he hopes you'll make this place your home. Damn, just goes right through him, eh? Walk into the constellation offices wielding an axe. Barrett sent me. Welcome to Constellation. We have a lot to talk about. Would you care to tell us I can't what wait. to our friend? Why you're here and he isn't? I killed him. I like this. Just straight up, just pretend you didn't hear her and ask the question. Sarah Morgan. Nice. It worked. Beautiful. Constellation. That means anything you discussed with Barrett is my business. Now, if you would please... There is definitely a gradation of facial animation quality depending on the uh, person you're talking to. At least it seems so far. Hmm. That's awesome. Very Just well. like assault with questions. This Redirect the conversation. I like that. To exploration. Space primarily but also anomalies throughout the settled systems. It's inherently Ooh, dangerous work. So if one of our own doesn't show up as planned, then we tend to have questions. Speaking of which, where is Barrett? Sarah Morgan, <laughs> chair of Constellation. <laughs> Could you imagine? That means you just wanted to know where your friend was and this Barrett person in the conversation just asked inane yeah. questions. And then Please when he ran out of questions, questions to uh, ask he just started re-asking old questions from before excuse me <laughs> I think you might have us confused with some cutthroat bounty hunters guild Vasco verify Barrett's location and status yeah why didn't you Currently, ask him from the beginning the smarty pants Victera, following a crimson fleet attack uh, this is just typical Barrett hands over our ship and our robot to some random employee of that discount mining outfit he uses. Walter. And if we hadn't insisted on installing those emergency this protocols, guy looks like David Lynch. I guarantee you this rock. You're not a fucking astronaut. You're a miner, okay? Yeah, if you were using a frigate to dogfight, you've Thank never you. actually He's fought in now, space. You're fucking spaceship. Us, what happened when it was extracted? Did anyone see anything? Hear anything? It was bright lights and music. That's pretty verbose. Interesting. Similar to Barrett's description of the experience. Get real. With less embellishment. I want to be dreamy. They won't let me be dreamy. Do you all believe me now? Whether it happened or not wasn't enough. You're going to have me speaking Esperanto before the day is done, sweetheart. If this is the greatest mystery in the universe, why couldn't it be part of the ultimate mystery? But gentlemen, can we please focus? Noel, I think it's time we tested your theory. Right, let's see. We know the artifacts react to each other. The pieces we already have move when they're in close contact. Now, if we add this new one to the two we already have... Oh, she's have, looking at me. The artifact. If you could place it on the table here. I don't know if I can give it a yay or nay yet, honestly. I like there were only two of them at first. The 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 intro has it's oh all God, slowly introducing you to a bunch of mechanics, to which I like intuitively that dislike because it's slow, but at the same no time there's so many like moving parts in this game compared to yeah. most None Bethesda of games. I guess it might be necessary. Yeah. Kinda remains to be seen. And like, it seems like there could be cool ways to gel them together, but I am gonna have to play the game some more to like give a fair judgment on it. I I just don't have enough context to. If I based on what I played so far, I'd say that it's kind of boring, but um, it's because I just haven't really been given any freedom yet. Well, if we had all the answers, it wouldn't be exciting, now would it? Not to take away from the moment, 
but what are we going to do about our new friend here? <laughs> so, are you ready to get to work? See if exploration is the life you want to lead in this little universe. Ender around? gives it a yay after 12 hours. That's fair. 12 hours seems like a good amount of time to be able to. If 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 uh, somebody tells you that you if you just have to play for 14 hours and then it gets good, you're allowed to turn around and walk away. All right, I'm in. I know nothing about these people at all. I just uprooted my entire life to be here. I've spoken to them for all of 45 seconds, and the first potential op option is, I'm in. Individually, they're just odd hunks of metal. Another it gets good now, the okay. Reaches of space. Hold you to As that, to Ender. What, they are, what they're building. Well, you'll be part of solving that puzzle now. Identifiably an iteration of the, um... What did they add another name for the creation engine Fallout? They called it, like, Creation and Next or something. Which is fine. I'm not of the mind that companies have to throw away game engines and develop new ones every few years. That would just be, like, super impractical. You should take some time to get settled in. Introduce yourself to everyone. Some of our members aren't here, but you'll meet them soon. Come find me when you're ready. You and I are going to be doing some traveling together. Get your feet wet. And here, I think you've earned something for bringing the artifact to us. In addition to credits, why don't we set you up with a backpack with some boost capability? Hmm? You'll need it out in the field anyway. Just mind your head. <clears throat> Skill point available! Everybody, I've got an announcement to make. The ladders on the bookshelves do not work. Alright, ooh, two skilly willy points. I can hardly breathe. I don't even know what to pick. Science and technology. Uh, okay, that I have one rank in that. It gave me one rank in that boost pack. But combat should probably do some some of that. I don't know. I mean, if we want to be space cowboys, we want to be like Spike. Probably pistols. Pistol certification, ten percent damage. See, I don't like stuff like that because it's like I'm never gonna notice that. At least some of the stuff gets interesting when you unlock more uh, pieces of it. And something like Borderlands or Borderlands 2, I just hate the level upgrades because it's always just like plus 2% to melee damage when you're on fire. And it's just like, I will never feel that difference in the game, ever. Never, never, never. Yeah, stealth. I gotta like, bump some in stealth here. Yeah, ten percent. That's true. Ten percent's not bad, but still, uh, you know, I like my ranks to feel a little substantive. That's why I like leveling up in D and D. It's like an event. Complete previous. Okay. Oh, that's kind of cool. I like that actually. Um, you have to complete the challenge related to your current rank to unlock the next rank. That's kind of cool. Kind of pushes you to play, do certain things. I always liked that. I liked that in some of the Assassin's Creed games where it was like, gave you like a synchronization bonus if you assassinated your target in certain ways or like Oblivion's Dark Brotherhood kind of did the same thing. I actually dig that. Gives you like reasons to take advantage of different game systems that you might kind of just like cruise past otherwise <laughs> the skill tree menu reminds me of those blank VHS tapes those blank VHS tape sleeves
I don't know what grav jumping is yet, so I don't really want to put points into stuff like that. Scan distance increased 20 meters. That actually does sound pretty nice, to be honest. It does sound like a nice... That's like double my current range. Hate that I know what he's talking about. Yeah, yeah, you remember all those, like, I don't even, what are, I can't even remember some of the brand names. On the tip of my tongue, there was always an X in the name of the brand, but they would sell, like, blank VHS tapes for you to record over, and they came in these, like, um, they were, they were not nondescript. The sleeves that they came in, they were, like, super, like, loud and colorful, like, with just, like, color-blocking logos and stuff. Very distinctive. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um. What is the difference between ballistics and pistols as far as damage goes? <laughs> that patch is pretty awesome. That is that is what I joked about before. The game already... It's not funny because the game already did it. Pistol kills grant 25% critical hit chance for 5 seconds. Ballistics give a boost to all slug throwers. Yeah, it's pretty banging. What's the challenge there? Kill 20 enemies with ballistic weapon? Okay, I think I'll probably accidentally do that one. Oh, th this is finished stuff, right? Hello there, Vasco. Greetings. It's been quieter Walter around Stroud. here ever since Vladimir Tell went to live on the eye full time. Uh. That was intense, wasn't it? The artifacts, I mean. Sorry, this must all be a little overwhelming for you right now. I guess a lot overwhelming, <laughs> now that I think about it. Nah. I'm Noel. I'm... I'm it's whelmed. Really nice I'm just whelmed. And thank you for bringing Walter your artifact Stroud. to us. Planning on sticking around then? Good. I think we can find a spot for you. And along the way, I can give you the very abbreviated tour. I hope that right. you walk so at a speed that life. matches my Honestly. own. Walter is quite proud of the collection, but Matteo has made more than a few contributions. Gardens are out the doors there. The um the style of this building in particular reminds me a lot of um, some of the interiors in Prague upstairs. in Deus Ex the Mankind Bates, Divided. Constellations founder had this place built decades ago. It was a big to very time, very um appealing material qualities. I want to reach out and touch everything. That includes you, Bosco. I know his name's Vasco. <laughs> so this is the bar. Usually no tender, so help yourself within reason. Now let's see about that room here. I got bad news for you guys if there's ever a fire. Unless I'm around, then there's good news. I have a fire extinguisher. We were almost at max occupancy already, but there's still one room up for grabs. It's been nice having the place so full. Wrench number two finally has arrived after a terrible sleep. He's finally woken up. Jess, you were off by about 33 minutes. That's still not bad. Hey, just so I know for the okay, future, where are the fire extinguishers located? Room on one side, so that'll be quiet, and Mateo on the other side, so maybe a little less quiet. That fog I'm inside sure the building, though. For each of us, so I, I'd better get back I, to I, I have so said it before, and I will say it Enjoy. again. 
Bethesda games, despite their jank, despite the fact that like there are largely like areas where things look bad, there are moments like environmentally and in interiors where things look absolutely beautiful. There are points while playing Fallout 4 and even other games. I mean, despite the low fidelity, even Morrowind has moments that are just like, it's just like nice. It just looks good. It's a dream come true, Zara. You know that. Just make I mean, sure. if you have mods right that remove the, like the uh, there are render no distance limitations. So, are you ready to get to work? Or was there something else? We're gonna need some fire extinguishers. Uh, for background, I did like Bounty Hunter, which is spaceship flying stuff. And um, <clears throat> I picked Adoring Fan, having a mom and dad. And um, oh yeah, and uh, Bounty Hunters will come uh, periodically try killing me. Um, I don't even remember what the benefit was. I just like the fact that you can kill them and take their stuff. We're going to be doing some old-fashioned <clears throat> detective work. The artifacts are relatively inert once Mor the Morrowind the has that strengths, but I don't... Not even knowing what they are. I I'm not, like, hopelessly in love the, with Morrowind objects. the way some people are. Morrowind has, it, like, a set of very distinct strengths. But, as, like, I thought, mo like, Oblivion's quests largely I found to be much better than Morrowind's. Morrowind's... I think it's mostly because of the fact that Morrowind's dialogue system is basically just a wiki. That you're mostly quite limited in a lot of the quest lines. I do like it when they cross over and affect each other, but like... But I found, uh... Less of the quest lines worth doing in Morrowind. Jumping to anthropology on me already. Oh, well, good. We all need our own reasons to be out there. But it's not just that. I want to take this opportunity to see how you handle yourself. I don't know what the water and gun means other than you want to... I'm going to be sticking with you for this. Have ten paces we'll turn and fire style duel. We either find an artifact or this lead runs dry. But yeah, I mean, like, full disclosure, the first... Well, I mean, I played Morrowind briefly when I was young. My cousin owned it. I thought it looked really cool back then. Um... Oblivion is the first Elder Scrolls game I owned because I got it for Xbox 360, which I had just recently purchased. And I was pretty taken with, like, the big open world and stuff at that point in time. I hadn't really played a lot of games like that. We'll need to head to Mast. And to, to this day, Morrowind has sort of become works. more... A lot of the I enjoyment out of it is semi-ironic just because of how kind of, like, ridiculous so as as NPCs ask and, uh, act and stuff. Every member of Constellation is their own conscience. <clears throat> Understood. Um, but, uh, like, unironically, a lot of... Oblivion has a lot of bland MMO-style quests, but it has the highest concentration of, like, legitimately fun, interesting quests with, like, like fun... Like, multiple ways to, like, affect outcomes and stuff like that. The Thieves' Guild in Oblivion is peak. The Dark Brotherhood in Oblivion is peak. The Fighters Guild, there is like some interesting bends to it. It's not the highest quality. The Mages Guild in Oblivion is terrible. Um, but there's just like, there's so, there's so many memorable quests in Oblivion, whereas in Morrowind, Morrowind is chock full of like memorable moments, but. Uh, is there something wrong? Listen, lady, I'm trying to talk to my imaginary friends in cyberspace right now. Good. Morrowind has memorable Let's moments, but like I couldn't really tell you much about like any individual quests. More like Mor Morrowind's main story is a hundred times better than Oblivion's, but um, but there's uh, there's like a, that's because like interesting things happen in Morrowind's main quest. Like you uncover, it, it, I I would almost kind of compare it to how From Software tells stories where you hear a lot of like religious mythology and you hear these legends about these like heroes, these battles from ages past, and like legend has be some become so like commingled with mythos that nobody knows what's real and what's just like 
uh, you know, a matter of tradition anymore. And then all of a sudden the game puts you face to face with like these legends you've only heard about for the entire game. That aspect of Morrowind is awesome. Where like you get to like live history. It's, it, that's really well done. But unfortunately I just found like so much of the quest design. There's only so much you can do in Morrowind as far as quests go. They were like really limited to like mostly just like go here, kill people. Combat is kind of ass, so that's not really that fun. <clears throat> Morrowind's world is great, and it's great to experience that world, but I don't, uh. I'm, I'm, I'm not in love with like replaying uh, the quest lines in it. Wow, Kevin, holy macaroni. Thank you for the $50 super chat. Just really appreciate that. Just wanna let you know, I saw you tweet about our Gred walk song. Oh, I didn't recognize you with your name, uh, not be Kuko. This is that Kevin. When our Gred walk song, I completely forgot about it. <laughs> so here's my last $50. You're being cited in my noted <laughs> as the direct reason. <laughs> yeah, our Gred song was our grad song was Imagine Dragons. Now, my ass is still chopped about that 10 years later. I'm on top of the world. Yeah? I'm on top of the world. <laughs> Put my head through drywall. I was seriously like at the point where I'm like, as far as alternatives go, I'm like, I would literally rather have Green Day. I hope you had the time of your life over Imagine Dragons. Like it's getting to that point. I don't say that lightly. I don't know if I'm like losing oxygen because what like what like what is what is the what does the game want from me here? Oh, the spacesuit is what was killing me, I guess. <clears throat> All right, because wearing the spacesuit was not a good idea. The time of your life is a perfectly fun. It's one of those songs where it's like kind of like in the arms of the angels, where it's like it's perfectly Welcome fine for what it is, but it's like so overused uh, Sarah, that it's sort of just cliche to, to use it for something like a grand celebration. Sport. Hey, you ever think of joining up with the Vanguard, help the United Colonies, earn some credits, even get your UC citizenship? Maybe later. We have constipation business to discuss first. Constellation. Business West it. I would love to join the Vanguard. So my character is like extremely eager. Alright, alright. It's a game <clears throat> oh. we play. He asks. Whoops. I say no. If I skip something. Here's what I got for you two. Vanguard volunteer by the name accident. of Moera. Helps patrol the old neighborhood. Sol, Mars, Neptune, you know. The Soul System? Which Admiral did he upset to get that posting? He's Martian, born in Ray. Huh? Where it is, he's got some fancy metal ornament he's been showing In addition the to the super chat? Matches the oh, no. Sarah gave me. Hold on. Game frozen. No, any additional messages are not coming up on my screen. Type it out again. If you came over here to let me know, I'm assuming it's like at least semi important or relevant. I'm September 20th to October 1st. We're gonna clap each other's cheeks. Let me know. We'll be in touch. We'll be in touch. <clears throat> Thank you for rewriting it. I think the I think uh, OBS purposely blocked that message. Talk to him. Make a good offer for it. Damn it, now I'm all. Oh, uh, yeah, this seems about good. Soul system is a lot of planets, but a bit like colorblind and can't see words. Sedonia yeah, that's the problem. You mean hitting the bomb? Oh, they were. You, it was written in hey, dark gray, so I didn't see it on OBS. Sedonia, Knights of Sedonia. Serious about that recruitment officer, Speaking of 2012, no, that would have been well ready. before 2012. Is a good Muse. To That's a good, that's a legitimately good hype song. 
If you drive stick, that uh, Knights of Sidonia is a good hype song. Oh, baby. No, I, I don't want to do any of this. I changed my mind. Nope. <clears throat> Whoa. Now, I don't know if I'm just seeing things here, but if you guys look at that shiny metal plate on the railing to the left there, it looks like a reflection of Joshua Graham wrapped in bandages. <laughs> it's like his face. <laughs> The fire inside me burned brighter than the railing around me. All right, where does the game want me to go? Speak to... Oh, my parents. Speak to Commander Chuala about joining the Vanguard. Okay. Guess... Okay. If thou must. <clears throat> he was last seen patrolling the soul system. Oh, that's that's more ambiguous than I thought. Okay. I want to see my parents. How do I do it? Pioneer Tower, let's do it. Set a course for Pioneer Tower. That is this town, right? Wait, what? Down? Oh, am I? I am encumbered again. I gotta find a place to sell some of this stuff. I can't afford to drop two pounds of weight. Blender base? Okay, fine, I'll drop it. Oh. Okay, I'll drop my crimping tool. I'm not encumbered anymore, right? Like the way Sarah's like following me around. I want to go see my parents. Leave me the fuck alone. Are they down here? Uh. -huh. No, no. This is like a, a just like a purely a. Con There's no residential stuff here. I don't think. You look beautiful the way you are. Don't lose weight. Kevin's always been down with the thickness. Thank you. I feel beautiful. Go to Nat Station. Uh, oh, I go down here. <clears throat> you should always feel beautiful, Madge. Sometimes, sometimes I feel hideous. I'm hideous, to quote, uh, Garonu from the Zelda CDI games. Just, I know it sent me to the residential district, but I want to sell my stuff. <clears throat> what is he cooking? Aw oh, man, I wish there was like a kick like Dark Messiah. You could just shove people into the water. You got this. Easy for you to see. Imagine kicking the right now. Infinity is huge. Welcome to Infinity LTE's corporate headquarters. I need people like you. Where's the shop? Main. What is this? Button? Contribution? Distribution? Perhaps they will buy my fire extinguishers. Oh man, those game runs so buttery smooth in here. It kind of makes me sour grapes about the rest of the game. I'm on tax duty tomorrow. Can't wait. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> he contorted his body like 150 degrees. <laughs> I'm afraid due to recent legislative action, I'm no longer able to allocate ships. Oh, good. I can, however, deal in general goods. Welcome to UC Distribution. Now, before you say a word, I am required to inform you that formal complaints cannot be filed until the customer feedback system is back online. I have been told it will be up and running in two weeks, but you know how these things are. I am sorry for any potential inconvenience. Also, if you're here about a corporate account, I've been assured that deliveries will be back on schedule soon. I just want to sell my fire extinguishers. I hope we have what you need. Nah, it's buy on. Oh. No, you can sell. So in the future, you can go to a place that sells stuff and you can, like, barter with them. That's what I like to see. What is this? The number. What does that mean? Purchase the rattler. I'm not wearing any of these, am I? No, wait. Yeah, I'm not, so don't sell. Don't sell. I don't know, I haven't checked yet, but it'd be it'd be sweet if there was a way to tag everything you wanted to sell, so you could just like auto sell it. Oh, that's the quantity, I get it. I'll never sell this sweet lab suit. Misk. Alien bug paperweight? That's just a beetle. Cube? Just nondescript cube? <laughs> Just so stole <laughs> two fire extinguishers from Constellation and stole, stole them for $13. <laughs> People might die. <laughs> Where's a fire extinguisher? I don't know. Grab the other one. Oh my god, this one's not here either. <laughs> Guys, good news. I've got Wendy's. Oh, shit. Running away, dropping the hamburgers. The entire Constellation offices are on fire. <laughs> fire isn't real in the future. I don't know. Like, Digipick actually does something. So I don't want to sell it. I don't know. Oh, I bet you that you can break stuff down in this game. So you can probably mod weapons and I'm just selling a bunch. You're right, I do have multiple. Holy, do I have multiple of some weapons. You are, you are correct. All right, that's, uh, <clears throat> that helps. Whoops, I'll keep these whiskey glasses. You never know when you might need them to build a scope for your weapon. <clears throat> what is it that you do here? I'm a people person. You mean besides providing a pleasant face for customers to interact with? Oh, that's with? literally it's all basically the, the answer. We distribute materials and products all around the United Colonies. Never a dull moment. Always something going on and four other things we need to be ready for. I know some people don't believe it, but... We really do the best we can. Wouldn't still be working here if I didn't care. You're always welcome back, if you don't mind a bit of a wait. Oh. I might. Uh, she's just like, are you done selling our fire extinguishers yet? <laughs> Why, yes I am. And now, we will do what we set out to do initially. And visit my parents.
don't underestimate some people's desires to sort through useless crap. I think there's literally an indie game on Steam that's like kind of popular that's just read the Resident Evil 4 inventory but turned into an entire game. The most important man in gaming, Conan O'Brien. I bet you could make a very good Conan. I can just tell by the way that the faces look in this game that you could make Conan. That's crazy. What a wild gentleman. Oh yeah, Nafra, I don't know if I showed you uh, my character's face yet. He kind of, he looks a little worse in the sunlight, honestly. His face is better when the lighting is obscuring the various details of it. It's been a long time since I've been to Mars. So long. Boy. Oh. Is that Hello. a, is that a hat? Oh, uh, uh, always want hard opium, opium, well. What, what is that? Is that hair? Hi there, opium, hello, oh, hello. Oh, I don't want to steal the crystal desk file. Mmm, but I do, just a little bit. Oh, nice, we're back to the old, uh, hidden detected. Mom, Dad, this is my girlfriend. I guess she's waiting. What? Well, I'll be. Honey, we got ourselves a visitor. I'll get the coffee brewing. Oh, my God. Oh, you about gave me a heart attack. Mother, father. Not that we're not. It is me, you, son. But I, I thought you were under contract with Argos. Do you remember me? Is everything all right? Don't assume it's bad news. Come again? Constellation? Is this one of those candid camera vids? A joke? My child is a member of Constellation. I just knew you were special. Didn't I always say that? That you were meant for great things? Great things. Yep. I'm great. Well, I know what I've read about in the news. The explorers. The propagate. Years ago, there was a stretch where Constellation was in fashion. People would gossip about them all the time. I, I must say, it's been a while since I've heard anything They use the same mother, mother and father story. creating tech as used in Fallout 3 to develop Liam Neeson. That's a smile that only a mother could love there. <laughs> but I guess you were right. Oh, say again? I should record that and play it back. Mom... You were right. Oh, but you didn't give me any oh, notice. Uh, if I'd known oh, you have silly your goose. favorite meal in the oven. Look who decided to go out of their dungeon. Although that's Is you're making you me regret it. coming downstairs. Easy, honey. Let the boy catch his breath. Why don't you settle in? You know you're always welcome. All right. So yeah, my visits with my parents usually will. Oh, well, first of all, my mom doesn't just start like phasing through into another dimension next to the couch so i guess that's one minor difference start do like doing a little step trying to like rhythmically step on the ground while vibrating my dad doesn't usually sit at like the kitchen island staring blankly into space remembering how he could have won state back in 1984 but he tore a ligament and had to sit out the 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 championship game the money you sent home well, it means a lot to both of us. This is so this is like me and Jess coming home to my parents. This is usually what it's like. She walks in silently, doesn't say anything. They're all just sitting there. Mom looks like she'd rather be fucking dead than than here with us right now. Okay, yeah, that's true. That's another minor difference. My dad also only wears cut off shorts. 
Funny you left your slippers in the basket. Shut the fuck up, I swear. I'm trying to drink a mill of light here. Trying to watch the big game and she's talking about slippers and cleaning out gutters. Ooh, I tell ya. One of these days, I'm just gonna throw myself off of the residential tower. Regina, the president of... Oh, I know all about her. Well, she's making me redo the whole report from scratch because she gave me the wrong information. You worked on that for days. Steal the coffee mug. I know. I swear oh, and the soap. I'm stepping down. I can't Mom and Dad her. can't say no to, the, to me taking the soap. Man's gotta stay clean. Is this my room? High school backpack? Backpack note. Awesome. Thank you, Mama. Football. My favorite part of this is that it's like a, a JPEG that's been like stretched vertically to match the uh, 24 by 36 poster size, even though it's clearly just like a 24 by 24. That's authentic. That's like something you'd get at a liquidation center. Whoa! Sarah, why? Why is your gun? Why did she draw the... Oh, it's because I got my axe out. Oh, jeez. Man, I really did not need you to come fucking save the day like that. I try to admire my childhood tchotchkes here. Coming in, guns blazing, bowling me over. Let's go stare at the wall. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> How do I? Can I move stuff? There we go. Wooden puzzle box. Perfect. I can move. Just I'm my character's a vampire. Can't move any of these sculptures, that's too bad. Dad goes to bed and realizes that his son just stole all of his shit. My antique motorcycle! Oh, into my wooden duck. <laughs> You said I was welcome to whatever I wanted. Yeah, we meant food, not the wooden duck. Soil box. Where'd Sarah go? Oh, she's still in the corner. Contemplating. Holy. Rock solid shoulders on Pops here. I oh, know I can get this. Could you please? Sandra I'm busy. contacted me again. Just... They still want you to consult, don't they? They are not used to anyone saying no. Do you regret it? Not one bit. Damn. When I go to sleep. I got a clean conscience. Working for them, it would be hard I'm about to, to soil that conscience. Mirror. You are still all right with that? Feels what? Something what is going on? Later. What is going on? Sarah's ghost. Her vengeful ghost has come from the places beyond. You've been given a precious opportunity. Wow. Seize it. The, never look back. This is the field of stars I've heard so much about. <laughs> Out of here. <laughs> Intruder detected. Activating crystal protocol. All right, we'll go to Mars now.
Fenrir's out of here. I never. Oh, there it is. The chat. The chat. See you later, Fenrir. Have a splendid day. It's left without Sarah. <laughs> 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 she watches the <laughs> Just her forlorn look as I cruised away. <laughs> All right. Oh, I've always liked that statue. Oh, well, that was funny. Okay, um, mm. let's see here. What's next? Old neighborhood. Yes, let us let us do that. Oh, is that already? Is that already picked? Is it? Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. I guess it is. I think. Yeah. It's got a little bit hard for me to tell. Was trying to represent. All right. Space time. Are you enjoying Oblivion in space so far? Well, I will say that the majority of my enjoyment so far is largely related to my personal... Uh, my ability to, like, amuse myself. But uh, but apparently this is where the game actually really kind of gets going, so... Find out shortly. <clears throat> uh... Oh, I have to go to, uh, my, my spaceship. Okay, there we go. I can't believe there, it. there it is. Is it you? Is it really, really you? Captain of the frontier. I can't believe if it's really you standing here. Holistic. star of stars. It's me. It's just me. Then the day is truly blessed. Because for a moment, I wasn't sure if you were real or just another hallucination. But now that another. I know it's you, what are the odds? And to think, I almost went for coffee instead. Yeah, that is but definitely the original voice actor. For one day, and here you are. It's almost like it was Bethesda wet. has him back periodically for things. I think he played Puriite in uh, Skyrim. I know, right? And you can try to fight destiny, but you probably aren't going to win. Although, if I'm being honest, I'd wager you could beat just about anything, even theoretical concepts. But why would you, in this case? Like in death? Way, it's such an honor to meet you. Hey, do you mind if I follow you around? Uh, the, you need a I agree, Zachary. The joke wouldn't be funny Never if they had the adoring fan in every game, but the fact that they've waited, like, 17 years way. to, like, use him once makes it cute. Point. I'll start working on it right away, as soon as I learn how to sew. Until then, maybe I can be a sidekick in training. Do you have an academy where fans can practice groveling at your feet? If not, I can start one. Yeah, it's called the School of Hard Knocks. You won't be disappointed. Oh man, that's like Skies of Arcadia. All right, two crew members. <laughs> Let's turn around and walk away. He's kind of handsome in this game. It's very eerie. Security scanners, chemical sniffers. Hmm. The United Colonies sure isn't taking any chances. Hmm. 
he looks like Tintin. Do you, Captain? He does have a bit of a Tintin quality to him, but Tintin didn't have the entire like middle part. It was only a little bit uh, at the very end. I heard that you're so fast you can run around a planet and sign the back of your own head. We just need to find your friend. Skedaddle. Desperately grasping at relevance? I, I thought it was just a cute little in joke. I don't think it's. I don't, don't look at it that deeply. Jesus. Alright, where's Mars? or whatever, Cydonia. Somebody said something about Mars, so now Mars is on the brain. Oops, sorry, didn't mean to start firing in free space. Can I go there? This isn't where I... This is where I want to go. It's not where I want to go. Show on map. Okay. Yeah, okay. That, I guess... Hyper jump? <laughs> Am I hyper jumping right now? Is is it like loading maybe? Oh. Uh okay. Power up grab drive. Okay. I don't know what some of these things are. It's Mars, like I've never seen it before. And now I have to go into the map again to go on it now? Is that how it works? Oh, I can just click here. Mars Mech Factory. Okay. I'm, I'm slowly getting the hang of it. Bit by bit, I'm going to destroy Mars. It'll be like blowing up Megaton in Fallout 3. That Mars is an eyesore on the horizon. I'd like you to destroy it for me for no reason aside from the fact that I am evil. Did it. I came and went. What if I go to the lunch pad?
Did I accidentally leave? I'm so busy memeing. Why did I leave? Did I hit the wrong button? Oh, maybe I did. Maybe I hit space. The non -zero chance this planet I saw the word still. off and I was like, get off the ship? Sure. And it actually it was take off that I pressed. It's tough. Amazing, isn't it? Wait, what? What is happening? You must wear a spacesuit helmet. Oh, and pack. Oh, right. Forgot my pack. My, my high school backpack. Okay, everything's fine. Suit integrity? Oh, good. The whole place is falling apart. <clears throat> Oh, there's going to be rocks scanned coming out of your ears. Nice. Jump super high. Oh! The game never really told me how to use the boost pack or when to use it, I don't think, but... Life is pretty sad when a new game can't hold my enjoyment for even half a day. That is kind of sad. That is a little bit sad. I'm sorry to hear that. In the words of the illustrious Nords of Oblivion, I hope things get better. <clears throat> I have had... There the amount of like incredible games that have come out this year is like put me in like the complete opposite problem where I'm overwhelmed with stuff between actually having to create videos for a YouTube channel. I've got like a couple hours a day at most to like play anything. Right now Baldur's Gate 3 has been like a project for the last little while. Though I, I'm at, I think uh, we're coming to the end of that. <clears throat> Uh, hopefully I can kind of get cracking on Armored Core 6. And who knows what else. Sea of Stars is free on... on the PlayStation Plus thing, despite the fact that it costs... more money now. Did you beat Goldeneye yet? No, I'm still working on Goldeneye. I'm still working on getting through double O agent mode. Just can't get through the uh, caverns level. There's turrets everywhere, it's bullshit. <clears throat> Too pressed with it. Armor Core 6 felt button mashy. Really? I, I, I found like almost the exact opposite when I started playing it. I initially played it button mashy because I've never played an Armored Core game. And only once I actually started making more like intentional decisions about what I was doing. Mind you, that could also be because I know nothing about like how to build your mech. So like, um, I'm sure I was playing inefficiently enough that I had to be playing well and doing the right thing. Or maybe it just gets worse over the course of the game, I'm not sure. Where I left off, I had just beaten, um... I was just on, so there's some kind of a factory enemy with, like, a, uh, a fire stack coming out of its back. <clears throat> um, but Balteus, I thought, was a pretty good... And, and the, the fight before the, the uh, Balteus, that, that was... That was definitely a good, like, putting me through the ringer. I had to be pretty smart about that. You played through three concurrent playthroughs of Baldur's Gate 3? Yeah, I would say, uh, I would say any game would be, I'd be done with it after three playthroughs, like, consecutively, or laterally. But then, I am, uh, an ADD boy. 
So I uh, I get burned out if I like commit myself to the same game for like too long of a time. Yeah, I, I beat I beat the first Blasphemous um, a few times since it came out. I really like that game. I I've heard the second one's good. I just like just happens to have come out at a year and a time where there's so many damn games. Sense. We're starting to think it might be time to pour one out to the blackest sea. Oh, believe me, I've heard it. After about round three or four it was all he would talk about. He's got a voice that carries. Look, nothing more I'd love than to help out a fellow Martian. Especially one that's missing. But... <clears throat> He has a tab, and you don't know if he's coming back. It's a lot of credits, okay? I let it slide for a long time because oh. he's regular, but if I'm out all that money, I got problems. The game's gonna let me pay off his debt. I knew it. <laughs> Classic Bethesda problem solving. Shouldn't put a price on that. Skip to the part where you admit you're lying? I don't know what that means. What did she mean by this? No, oh, I've done this routine. Let's skip to the part where you admit you're lying about what he owes. You call me a liar? I'll throw both of you out oh, Sarah. right now. I knew oh, this please. would happen. Two strangers arrive from Offworld asking for information only you have. You see an opportunity. Everyone always does. Lower the price. Don't think we can't find another way to get. See you later, want. Kevin. Fan. Thanks for stopping by, and uh, thank you for the fifty dollars. It will be spent very, very wisely. Agreed on a discount. Right. Let me confirm the amount. Okay. Let's talk. Last time he was here, my not used to getting um, lady of love. Any kind of donations from you, other than in increments of twenty-seven dollars and ninety-nine cents Canadian. That's so. only one planet. Hardly I was just shocked to see it. Route. I would have been able to identify you yeah, immediately as that me. Kevin, <laughs> if that was the amount. Fine. We'll make do. <laughs> Day. While I may technically work in HR, Satya is really the one to see for any work concerns. Sure. Ladies, please. There's more than enough of fish pizza. Oh, I'm got, I guess I don't need my spacesuit inside. Hey. I haven't had a day off. Oh, the sanitation minibot's about to explode. Like, the fact that areas like this don't have uh, a local map... That, like, that's... that's nuts. You have to, like, memorize where stores are and stuff like that in these... cities. I don't even know, maybe there's nothing... in here, but... I feel like that's... that's... that's ridiculous. I like stealing things, but there's nothing in here. It's past a directory. Oh, so there's like in city maps. Stay away from the sixth circle unless you're a miner. Or 
Oh, like this? Is this what you mean? That's not really what I mean. Or just the ability to press M and like know where you're going. I don't think that like the maps in most Bethesda games are like handmade. Like if you look at the way Skyrim's maybe look a little bit more like that, but I'm thinking of the way like Morrowind and like possibly Oblivion. I can't really remember what its local maps look like, but Morrowind, Morrowinds basically give you like a very simple like bird's eye view render of the area you're in. So, like, I can't imagine it's an issue of, like, we can't make maps for a thousand planets. Go to Venus? Sounds like a really good idea. <laughs> My favorite planet to go to. Fan got mind? take. And is it? I saw a smudge of dirt on your ship the other day. Don't worry, I obliterated it with every cleaning product. Do you mind if I ask you some personal questions? Of course, I'm an open book. Read me. <laughs> Read me. Oh, I'm not that interesting. I like coffee. I like tea, and I like worshiping the ground you walk on. Well, you technically don't walk. Uh, angels tend to die. <laughs> Good lord. We need to talk about your fandom. Oh, don't worry. My love for you is completely platonic. Unbreakable? Yes. Unyielding? Absolutely. Romantic? Oh, God, no. I would never sully something so pure with something so ordinary. Of course, I'm sure you have all romance the him. Will the game let you romance the adoring fan? I don't know. That almost feels like a breach of uh, trust to me. It feels like a massive power imbalance, <laughs> considering how much being part of your crew. Is just the he sees me as a demigod And he's right to I'm level 4 Man I'm, I'm surprised that so many people Just like despise the adoring fan This game I honestly All I ever saw it as was like a cute callback but people are seeing it as a signal that like Bethesda is dead. It's all over. Like I, like I said, if they did it in every game, it'd be one thing, but like, I don't know. It's like literally just like one little wink at the, at the player. And it actually has some kind of, like, gameplay function as well. Whoop. It's desperate because it's a meme everybody knows now and they're shoving it in your face. They're absolutely not shoving it in your face. You have to manually choose. You have to say, oh, that's a nice meme. I like that. I'll choose that as one of my three traits in the beginning. You, you literally can never see him in the game as long as you don't pick that one trait.
I, th I th what I think is that people are don't like Bethesda, which is fine, but like are just kind of looking for reasons to just hate Bethesda more, is what it strikes me as for the most part. Deserted mineral plant? Is that all I have access to? I guess so. Venus it is. Venus. Hello, what do we have here? It's Venus. Yeah, that I definitely agree with, Dread. I would have been cooler maybe if there was, like, a build-up to it or, at like, some point outside of, like, the very beginning that it happened. That I agree with. They do kind of just, like, throw it out there, like, instantly. Zealots are a threat to the whole system. I don't know what I'm doing, and I'm probably gonna screw it all up, but by God, just try to stop me. Yeah, a wild wasteland perk that, that like, included the uh, adoring fan would have been cool. That's interesting, Crocmaster, because I remember there was, like, overwhelming praise and excitement when Bethesda... Uh, during the first reveal mentioned that the main character wasn't voiced i think that like not a lot of people actually liked that in fallout 4. i think most people don't prefer that exactly minimal ship power go slow we grab the data on that satellite and jump away Yeah, I, I understand that, Julian. I guess the thing is when your development cycles are 10 years, like it's hard to produce novelty because like things that were novel when you were in the pre-production phase have now been done in a variety of ways by like different indie studios and whatever else. So it's like, like there are games that do intergalactic travel better and there are games that do combat better and there are games that do i don't know maybe exploration better i'm just like throwing stuff out i don't really know but like um but i guess the appeal isn't necessarily novelty with bethesda games it's that you kind of do know what to expect and they do kind of like have a budget enough to bring all those things to together like most studios don't I don't know how slow slow is. <clears throat> so it feels as wide as an ocean but deep as a puddle. There really isn't that much to sink your teeth into when you actually start playing it for any length of time. Settlement building is end game though. Is that like, are you basing that off of actually having beaten the game? Or are you uh, assuming that? Because uh, I've, I, uh, like, it's in, it is entirely possible that that's true and that that's accurate, but I notice a lot of people, especially like in regards to like responding to those like seven out of 10 reviews, a lot of people with like really strong opinions about the game 
developed those opinions about the entire game in like less than a day since its release, which is like there's no reasonable possible way anybody has actually like, other than people who have early review copies have actually made it. I expect ten hours. Okay. Well, I mean that's fair enough. Ten hours in a game and you still don't like it. That's that's a, a judgment call that you definitely could make. If I spent 10 hours in a game and I found it boring to begin with and getting worse, then I would probably drop it as well. That's be why I don't play MMOs. Usually you pretty much know what the rest of the thousand hours you'll play it is by the first ten hours you play it. And if you enjoy those ten hours, then you're in luck. Because you get to do them for a long time. Through the satellite. Oops. Selected. Should the satellite selected, press E to cycle between targets. That's where we go. Go to Nova Galactic Star Yard. Like, controls are navigating to different planets and, like, like, setting course for them and everything is... I find a lot of that stuff is just... You have to go through, like, more menus and press, like, specific buttons and sometimes it doesn't quite work the way you think it does. Maybe it's just because I don't know anything about the game yet, but it seems a little cumbersome. Yeah, Aftab, that is, uh, that seems like pretty much the most, like, reasonable take, um, that I've, that I've, that I've heard. I think that, yeah, that seems like the kind of the most agreeable thing on its face, despite me not having played for 12 hours. Like I said, the thought experiment is this. It, imagine that Bethesda didn't develop the game. And all of a sudden, I feel like most people's feelings about it are not that strong anymore. I feel like just be being Bethesda Associated suddenly kind of intensifies fe feelings about things, both in the positive and negative direction. Keep your weapons ready. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, not, I'm definitely not going to deny that, Zeno. Fallout 76 was like... That... I, people... Had feelings about the way Bethesda was going... 
um, ever since post Morrowind, which is weird because it, everybody sees Morrowind as sort of like a default Bethesda that they should return to, when in reality it was like an extremely short period of time where they were like, the, Morrowind is like the only game Bethesda made that doesn't have like the problems that people who are like adamantly hate Bethesda have. Like, prior to that, you had Arena and Daggerfall. Anybody who says that, like, everything Bethesda makes now sucks, but Daggerfall was peak Bethesda, um, to me, that's, like... So, like, what what did you like about Daggerfall? The infinitely... Like, every quest being a, quote-unquote, Skyrim-style radiant quest? The infinitely randomly generated towns and people that had, like, nothing interesting to say? The main quest that literally did not work when the game launched? Like, it's got all of the problems that people sort of h tend to hyper-exaggerate for a lot of modern RPGs. So there's this like, short period where Morrowind came out, and Morrowind in reality, like... Morrowind was halfway between what Bethesda is now and Daggerfall, because there was still some, like, level of complexity to it. Um, but it was clear, like, Morrowind was a firm step in the direction of, like, paring down all of that stuff and making something more kind of digestible. And if anything, Starfield is, like, seems to be, like, in a way, get up? Is, okay, do I want to get up? Yeah, I guess I do. <laughs> And, um, Starfield, if anything, is, like, more in line with a lot of the design principles of Daggerfall and stuff, trying to create something like, like, people can, like, autonomously DM their own game, basically. And a lot of the stuff is nostalgia, too. A lot of it is nostalgia. Um, a lot of it is you're gonna, you're gonna feel strongly about the first game you played that blew your mind with the open world. From Bethesda, people who grew up with Skyrim have really strong feelings about Skyrim, and Oblivion, and Morrowind, and obviously it's not universally true, but it is generally true. And Daggerfall as well. Yeah, that is, that is true. Bethesda games, Bethesda games cater to a specific mood. Um, they are not high concept games. They are not games that boldly venture into the unknown. As a matter of fact, if you look at a lot of PC forums around when Morrowind came out, people were pissed that it simplified RPGs. They thought it was like representing the dumbing down of RPGs. A lot of CRPG fans. People who grew up with Black Isles games. Because Morrowind's dialogue is, like, extremely simplistic. It's a, a very straightforward game compared to a lot of those, so... It, it's funny, um, in retrospect, that, like, Morrowind is used an example of, like, Bethesda firing on all cylinders and including as many player options as possible. Because that is not what it represented at the time. But yeah, no, I, th I think there's room for what Bethesda does now. And in a way, a lot of it is what basically they were trying to do with Morrowind. And I, I personally would love more complexity. I would love more RPG elements. I love numbers. I love lots of moving parts and lots of mechanics in games. Um, and thankfully, there's tons of games coming out these days from talented developers that can give me that. And not every game does have to. Yeah, and, and, and that's another thing is like about Morrowind is that people use it as an example of Bethesda's world design. But again, it's that Morrowind is the only game that Bethesda has made that hasn't been some variant of standard fantasy. Arena, Daggerfall, Oblivion, Skyrim. All of these games are like more straightforward fantasy. Morrowind is the only game with giant mushrooms. Um, so it's used as sort of like the default Bethesda, Bethesda creativity, but like, it's, it, it, it's kind of an aberration out of all the games they've made. 
Sometimes stuff like that is just lightning in a bottle. You just have the right developers and the right designers and everybody working at the right time. And uh, that's why stuff like Dragonborn doesn't hit. It's them trying to do that alien crazy world again and it's just like... It's, it just doesn't work out the same way. It was just like that period of time with those developers. You can't get that back unless you're in that period of time with those developers. <clears throat> the nice thing about Bethesda games is that they just work. You see the mountain, you can climb to the top. <laughs> it's true. It's so true. That's effective marketing, by the way, because we're still saying it years later, even in jest. Todd knows how to sell shit. On me, company. Oh, but yeah, if you ask a lot of people who grew up with Daggerfall, they vastly, vastly prefer that and are upset that Bethesda will never return to that because to them, that was like the closest thing to a D and D game was playing Daggerfall which was like the whole ethos of Elder Scrolls back when Julian Le Fay and Ted Peterson were working at Bethesda, was creating an autonomous D&D &D campaign. And then they moved away from that into something quote unquote dumbed down with Morrowind, where, you know, you had all of the sort of copy paste wiki dialogue, but none of the, none of the infinite, infinitesimal possibilities uh, to live your life the way you want to in the game, right? I've, I definitely prefer Morrowind style of gameplay to Daggerfall myself, but it, it, it is it is interesting that people all expect different things from the, the Bethesda depending on when they played uh, the games and which games they played. Fable was uh, good, silly fun. I like Fable. I never played any other than the first one. And I have special, like, feelings about Fable because it was the, uh... After I had lost my, my, my PC box, I learned how to pirate using Fable. It was the first game I ever used to... I ever mounted an ISO and installed on my computer. I was, like, blown away when I could play it without a disc. Okay, well, I will say this. You, 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 the only way you could be less damning of Molyneux is if you haven't seen his Milo presentations. Trust me when I say, if you look at the absolute bald-faced, like, he, he wasn't exaggerating. He didn't expect features to be in the game. He just stood in front of, of a room of people and literally just lied to them about what Milo was going to be. The, to me, that is, like, for, for the most part, you know, you can forgive some of that stuff, but that was just, like, that was the absolute worst. That was the shadiest example of, like, people at E3 back in the day at E3 when you could just stand in front of people and lie about your game. Hey. To a new target. Yes. It, Fable is directly responsible for the life of crime that I now lead. But like straight up, they were showing pre-rendered CGI footage and Molyneux was saying that this was happening real time, but like, you can see visually that he was lying. It's one thing to exaggerate, or it's one thing to have pie in the sky ideas of like what your game might be. It's another thing to have a group of developers get them in like around uh, the conference table and say all right so here's how we're going to lie about this at e3 that's to me that like lost uh Bolognese credibility a thousand percent He definitely does see the potential in interactive media but like at the same time like it's it's just like 
see, like thinking that something could be great is is uh, very different than saying we currently have access to that greatness and we're making it right now and you should buy an Xbox Connect because uh, the greatness will be available to you soon. And then and then uh, going back to his his company and saying fuck, how are we going to do this? <laughs> Like, Fable, Fable was boasting, the whole, like, trees grow in real time, and, and you can have deep, rewarding relationships with people, and, like, that type of thing. That's boasting. Milo is, uh, like, another level. Milo, to me, is, like, the video game equivalent of, like, um, like a tech CEO soliciting money from people and, um, talking about their, well, I can't even remember, what was her name again? It's like that lady who, uh, she put on, like, a fake voice and told everybody that she had, like, a machine that could, like, detect illness and stuff, which, obviously, that's a thousand times worse because that's actually people's lives you're messing with, but, like, it was that level of lie. Whoa! Dag, yo. Oh, is she in jail now? I have not kept up with uh, that story. I remember seeing a little mini documentary about it. But yeah, like that was that was terrible. <laughs> That's absolutely awful what she did. <laughs> I will say that the the whole bull shots thing, like, there's oh baby, there's this weird thing where people, I think, like, incorrectly remember the early 2010s as, like, this golden era for gaming. As far as, like, the types of games that were coming out and the way that, like, publishers, like, the, the relationship publishers had with developers and consumers, that was, like, the darkest age of gaming ever. The early 2010s was horrible. And, and that's no more clearly exemplified than um, watching an E3 presentation where back back then they would they would straight up just lie about their games at least now you don't get like entire rebuilds where like the graphics look a thousand percent different than when they than the game that they're actually putting out yeah early 2010s was terrible that was like the age of streamlining. That was when they, everybody collectively decided that video game players are all stupid who just want like basic ass experiences. So RPGs started becoming like super simplified. Um, shooters in general became very homogenized. And we like temporarily lost like half of the subgenres that make up the gaming landscape now. Yeah, From Software definitely is a outlier in terms of, like, having design principles and, like, the market maybe pushing them to be different, but not, but not changing. From Software has been, like, remarkably consistent in that, creating, like, experiences that are tough to market and then somehow turning them into successes because they're just that good. Talking to me. There's nobody else here, so you must be talking to me. It's all armor and stuff in increments of fives. FromSoft needs to do a big silly game that's completely off the wall compared to what they make. Something bright, colorful, and humorous. So what you really want is Lost Kingdoms 3.
what was there they did some kind of a weird platformer like it's a ps2 launch title i can't remember what it's called now from software were like very prolific publishers for a, a period of time in the early 2000s i talk all about it in my upcoming video which i just finished writing 35,000 words possibly longest video i've ever made neck and neck with xenogears Shadow Tower does need a... Shadow Tower needs an entry. Stat. Like, I can't imagine what a modern Shadow Tower, like, with the available technology, because From Software was always just hamstrung by tech back then. Without that, uh, like, blocking them, I'm so curious what kind of a game could be made. It would be so, so cool to see that. There's a huge difference between being prepared and carrying too much. Lun it's that's pronounced lunacid, right? I always want to call it lunacid, but it's lunacid. I I have also heard that's very good. I can I see a king's field like I pay attention. Are you winning, son? It's an RPG, Dad. There's no way to win. You're either in a quest state of succeeding in the game or you're not playing. Don't you understand? This is Vanguard Moira. Sorry if I had to reclaim some UC property, but this whole star yard is overrun. I've patched up my ship and I'm heading to Neptune. Going to put in another request. Neptune now. Man, I thought they'd save all the uh, local solar system stuff for later in the game. I don't care how words are pronounced and anybody who does gets a wedgie. Oh man, you're at odds with some of the people who comment on my videos. <laughs> some people care deeply. The worst is when it's something that like, uh, you can't find pronunciations online. It's hopeless. The situation is hopeless when that's the case. I'm built, I forgot, I can take my, like, do you have to, like, remember to, like, go into your menu like this every time to take your suit off? Because I tell ya, that's gonna be like getting guns from the horse in Red Dead. I'm just not going to. At least you can do this mid-mission. Drink pack, beer. I've, I've, I'm trying my absolute best as far as pronunciation goes in um, in my next video. Really, really trying. Okay. Even for names, where like there's no. Sometimes you get a pronunciation guide for like some t for like some very uh, like common names. I'm looking up like similar names to the ones I can't find a guide for, just so like I know and I'm like I can kind of say it. My problem is that I have a hard time with the like, um, there's a, the, the sound of an R in, why am I dying again? I don't know. Counted for. We are ready to depart. Like I want to say, um, <clears throat> well now I can't think of a example. So there's a name. I C H I R O. You would pronounce it Ichiro. Like the R kind of almost sounds like a T because you don't say like a hard R in uh, in um, like the Japanese language. But for me, Western brain is always tempted to say Ichiro. And I don't, I still stand by like, I don't think that it would be incorrect to say that. Like you're really, really nitpicking if you're going to uh, say that that's like, an I that's like incorrect to say that any more than I would blame a Japanese person for calling me Ruku. 
instead of calling me Luke, which is my name. Where are we going? What are we doing? What's next for me and you? To Neptune, Star Fox style. That would be sweet if there was like Star Fox missions to get into a planet's atmosphere or something. You'd to like do an on rail segment. Don't don't get me designing games, anybody. Name reveal the name reveal. Periodic name reveal. Annual name reveal. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't set me up. Why would it start me with a speed of like 35? Start me at zero. And just if you got into a car and it just started driving. Pronounce the word strategy. <laughs> yeah, that's cute. Um, I still one of my family members still pronounces it specifically instead of specifically every once in a while. Whoops. Wait, no, I do want to go to. I do want to go to Neptune. That's true, Johnny Thunder. <laughs> there was a slight inconsistency there. Did you see that? There's a ship just drifting out there. No time for taking the sights. That could be our vanguard. Wait, where? Something's wrong. Oh. The ship's weapons are powering up. Get ready. I will destroy Moara. Vanguard to civilian ship. Come in. If you stop shooting at us, we'd be more than happy to respond. It's not me. Works like that my ship. White lined a couple of them, but they've locked me down. Really could use an assist. Hacking? Uh, it dead. won't let me un it won't let me move. What the why won't I why can't I go somewhere? What the I just took so many missiles to the face. Why won't it let me? Oh, that was weird. That was weird. I felt like I was just like locked in place. Oh. Alright, let's go back to cockpit view. Okay, exit targeting now. Wait. It's been nice knowing you. Or a time to die. This game needs colorblind mode because the red targeting thing is like almost unseeable to me. It's so dark. So o to repair. Zero. Do a barrel. Okay. This is the world's slowest barrel roll because my ship sucks. There you go. Barrel. Actually, I don't think this is technically a barrel rule. I don't think that's accurate. Is this lasers? I gotta look, look at controls. <laughs> the ship showed me how to like shoot just like my basic lasers and it was like, all right, you're ready for space flight. But I'm not. G. Flight modes. I don't like that zero is the med kit button and O is the repair ship button. Wait, no, no, not targeting. I'm hitting all the buttons. I'm 
going to kill Moara. Moara will know pain. I've had enough of his pathetic games, sending us to every side of the galaxy. Adoring fan, indiscriminate, adoring fan talking. Do I have a shotgun? Seating current deals double damage targets at full health. Okay. Uh, good enough. It's probably better than the axe. Yeah. Uh, in some ways. Let's do this. Don't worry, we're gonna give him an old fashioned knife fight. Cha cha cha! Some stealth kills. Funny if they were all asleep somehow, they were still dogfighting me. Why my uh, hiddenness just dropped there? Yeah, I, I, I definitely would be if I was being boarded. I would head towards the place where they were boarding me. Probably be a good place to, to start. the dickens is this just, did i just like board a bedroom or something oh wait what <laughs> no hold on Back to my ship. Oh, there's another door on this side. Oh man, I just wanted to stealth. I don't even have any guns. Burst fire. Oh, I hate burst fire. It is much more comfortable inside the ship. Maybe we shouldn't stay out here too. Pace. My favorite. Good luck, Sarah. Yeah, teamwork. Teamwork makes the dream work. Nuggy, you did make the stream. We're proud of you. Now it's time to go to bed. I got to meet whoever you two are. Looks like we're all in one piece. Any day you walk away from, right? No one has any respect for space these days. Beautifully said. I hear that. 
If the universe was a nice place, we used to respect space. And no home would be missing the kids today to don't know what it's what it means to respect space. Seriously? Guess that's where that respect for space comment was coming from. Man, I won't Hey, he actually stories. remembered a dialogue choice We've I made stories too. from two About lines ago. It's already better than Fallout 4. So you know what that thing is. I tried to hawk it in Sidonia, and the guy thought I was peddling phony titanium. Mm, it doesn't play nice with scanners. It'd be worthless to someone trying to flip rare minerals quickly. So you're saying I shouldn't be using it as a hood ornament? Hey, I'll trade some weird space rock for a rescue anytime. Hope you figure out whatever that thing is. Let's grab the artifact. It's a rock. Good work. Let's get back to the lodge. Thank you. Oh, it's a standoff. Just casually get back to the lodge. I, you're looking as glue back to work. Then. When it says get up, does it literally just mean out of your seat? I'm sure I feel like stand up is <laughs> probably whoop, the right uh, way to phrase that. Because before my ship was docked, I said get up, and there was like a space elevator right there. I don't know. There's something about it. My brain doesn't like it. Is this a... Is this another quest? We can go to Titan. Always wanted to go to Titan ever since... Uh, Cowboy Bebop. The War of Titan. Come back to that. Earth, Earth, Earth. Well, I'm sure that the game will take, take, the, take us to Earth eventually. It must. This, whoa, oh man. This is a strange sort of semi 3D map it's got here. Can I just go straight to. Oops. Yeah, I'm- I feel fairly confident saying I'm not crazy about the space navigational UI. I- I don't find it very intuitive. There's too many disparate elements that are- that are kind of, I don't know. You click on something, but then you got to set to your quest so you know where you're going. And you click on the thing, and sometimes you can like go straight to the quest, and you can't go straight to the quest. You can be nearby, and then, and then you got to click on it, and then you got to move your cursor across the screen to a thing that says land, but you can't just click. You can like hold on it until the bar fills. I just don't like bar fill stuff. <clears throat> Yeah, no doubt we'll get used to it, but from a from a perspective of somebody just starting, it's I find it a little bit clumsy. Probably if I was using a controller, it would feel a little bit better. Perhaps. I am at your service, Captain. I'm gonna take another one, quick one, and then we'll return to hopefully get Sarah off my back so I can go explore the cosmos by my lonesome.
I smell like water. In case you're wondering. Permanently. No, that's actually not true. Whenever back I got back from work, I'm, I'm, my, I've got pretty good, like, genes as far as, like, body odor goes. When I got back from work, when I worked at the lumberyard, Jess always said I smelled like snow. Which I thought was weird, because I don't really know what snow smells like. To me, snow, when I think of snow, it'd be like, it kind of smells like, um, like, just like gravel or something. No, no, we don't need Bye. to head back out. Take my stupid space suit off. Stupid, dumb space suit. Hide space suit in settlements. How about a button to just like automatically take off your space suit and you don't need it? That would be killer. I'm planning a grocery run later. I get some things you like. Oh yeah? Lately, I find myself spending more and more time here. Who are Business people talking to? to me, but this is exciting. Business has appealed to me as a businessman myself. I can tell you that I too love business. Wonder when the game gets good. Silvar, you're the one who peer pressured me into spending 850 Canadian dollars on this fucking game. And now you're telling me you wonder when it gets good? I feel like I've been waiting my whole life for this. Do you understand that the, buying this game has put me in poverty? That doesn't sound crazy, does it? Do you understand that neither I nor Jess are going to be able to eat for the next six months because I bought Starfield to play early? Planets have jiggle physics mod. <laughs> I hope you I, are that sounds fine. I would download that. That sounds fine. Orders available to you. <laughs> Ever since I got here, this has felt like home. These people are family. No Game Pass. I, I, I believe in owning you. the the uh terrible games that silva recommends i believe in ownership which is actually not the case really on steam it's steam is basically an extended digital license like the best of them so i don't know i don't know i couldn't tell you i guess i just didn't want another subscription i'm inevitably gonna forget to cancel and i don't want it anymore stay safe okay It fits. Energy spiked a bit, but it's restabilized. Is there anything new, Shadow? No, it's the same as before. There's a massive output as the artifact is added, then it harmonizes. But it's waiting for the others. That's speculation. We get up on the yeah, it's right. Here. You've earned this. What I get. Welcome to Constellation. As a full member this time. Oh, space suit and space helmet. Well, if you ever find a relic bottle from Earth, we'll all be happy to share it with you. By the way, how would you like to keep traveling together? I'm not sitting Typically, I buy physical this. when possible, These but artifacts are a new chapter uh, I don't have an Xbox, so wasn't wasn't possible. I don't even know. Didn't Starfield say like didn't, there, well. but didn't Bethesda say they weren't you doing a physical version of this game? <laughs> I need someone like you but I prefer physical when it's possible outside of that I mean I do prefer the more I actually own something and will be able to play it uh, someday when servers for things are down the, the happier I am about it which unfortunately in a world of 100 gigabyte day one patches is becoming less and less an option period <laughs> yes yeah, Sarah's not coming with me fair enough but before you go, let me tell you about our other leads. First, there's an expedition that Samco has been putting together. It's in Free Star Collective Space, and he knows it inside and out. There's also the Eye, our star station in orbit. About time for you to meet Vladimir. He's been hard at work tracking down more anomalies. And last but not least, Noel. Have we heard anything from Barrett yet? A courier from Argos Extractors came by to let us know they're packing up the operation on Vectera. But that's it. No other word. Mm, that's not good. We should get over there and check on Barrett in person. Hooray. 
achievement. Time to go. I don't need anybody to tell me what to do in this world. Actually, that's Everyone not true. Give me quest mark. You're about you. It's been ages since Constellation has had someone. Oh, I has two fixes. I wonder what he's and you must be the latest poor fool to get dragged into our discussion. Adam, it's me, David Seraph, son. Don't you remember me? You live in free. Adam. Of course you remember me, son. We had to do it to ya. Whoa. I know a few dark sides of the Aquila moons, but if you're looking for deep history lessons, well, I'm gonna fall asleep before you do. Trust me. Don't encourage him. Koriko, by the way. Hi, hi. Too late. Been there, done that. That's enough. Look, Cora goes where I go. But it's not like I'm dragging her into every dark cave we uncover. She'll be on the ship. Now, let's talk business. Sarah tell you about the expedition? I feel the same. Yeah, I always get antsy planet side. The three of us are heading to Aquila for a settled planet of Elias two Fexes undeniably no, has a great voice for this like one character. Aquila city. We'll land in the city's spaceports, but the and I got a lead on I'm, the I'm, I makes me think I one don't thing. Artifact think I've heard much by way of rain like every character he's played has just kind of just made me think of Adam Jensen I De heard Damon Deus Ex from him in this game and he's also in the long dark campaign which weirdly enough has some pretty high profile voice actors including David Hayter and like both Commander Shepherds like male and femship are in the game Jennifer Hale I think and I can't remember male Shepherds voice actor okay we'll meet you on board your ship talk more when we get there once we land on Aquila, it's gonna be you and me. But he does so have like a good voice for like grizzled in. characters, though. Cora and I will just be riding past. Won't, won't deny it for a second. Mark Mir, thank you. That is the one. I was like, I guess the Canadian government like funded development of the Long Dark. So like, even though only like ten percent of people who own the game, myself included, even play the campaign, um, it's got like. Just like a slew of surprisingly good, like, good, like, high profile voice acting. Mark Mir's voice is way too Canadian for him. This is like Fable being too British all over again. I'm glad to know that my voice is not so Canadian that it ruins things for you. I'm glad that I ha only have a relatively low amount of Canadian, identifiable Canadian in my voice. <clears throat> my character's dying again. Characters out of I like I'm not sure I fully understand the CO2 oxygen. I guess I'm over encumbered, so my character like starts suffocating and dying, <laughs> which I'm not really sure I totally get. No, I don't actually want to wear it. Minnesotans and Canadians are like two sides of the same coin. Count your blessings. I can like slowly move there. Is it like Bother's Gate where I can like send stuff to my? Oh no, I gotta just drop a bunch of crap right here. I guess. Let's see. These are probably worth a lot, so maybe not those. I don't need Eggmund. <laughs> Oh wait, that was actually a thing for my PDA. Oh, I don't really care. Wait. Don't mind.
find me, everybody. It's dropping some Grendels. It's dropping some guns in the middle of the street. Oh, big deal. You got a problem with me dropping guns in the road? Take it up with Constellation. have any Grendels left. So, I sit down, grab the highest caliber weapon I've got, and start walking. Oh, if that actually happened, you Everything is fine. Everything is fine. You just have your weapon out. Come on, you're not gonna react to him and like pointing a rifle at you. Nobody. Come on, people. I think even in Fallout New Vegas, when you do that to your like companions, they would make a comment. <laughs> What if I like indiscriminately start firing it? Nobody, what? Nobody cares that I'm firing the gun? You're, come on. Really? That, like, I'm not trying, I'm giving the game the benefit of the doubt, but the fact that people don't like at least kind of react in oblivion when you hit an innocent and like run away, that's kind of lousy. Can you kill them? I can, yeah, I'll quick save and see what happens there. Don't judge me. I'm doing this for the sake of science. I'm doing this for the sake of gaming. Shoot him in the leg. Too much for me! <laughs> Too much for me! You say security. You're under what did I do? I've got special what did I do? What is this aim angle of the camera? What did I do? You tell me what's going. Are you going to tell me what's going or I've going on here? To inform you that you're being transferred to the UC Vigilance. You'll find out more when you get there. Other than that, I'm not at liberty to divulge any additional information. Read me my rights. I'm ready. Have it your way. You seek security. Surrender immediately. Later. Yeah. I'm in Constellation. I have diplomatic community. Well, at least everybody ran away when they started, like, getting shot. <laughs> Forgot that I looked silly. No, no, not the scanner, you fuck nut. In space, you will all scream. Help! Help! There's a crazy gunman on the loose. The hell was that? <laughs> you can't catch me. Why is he running towards me? 
Citizens arrest. Citizens arrest. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll help you, brother. This is insane. <laughs> All right. I can't. Oh, no. They see me. Oh, I can't shoot Tommy. Or can I? The lawless future, the lawless space. Oh, not my ship services technician. Forgot about the jam. Right. So wait, if I pay fifteen thousand credits, uh, we're square. They're terribly ineffective. What the hell? Uh oh. <laughs> Don't look now. <laughs> Somebody's coming up to the left of us. Can you just like You can just leave in the middle of combat You can just fast travel to your ship Dad, have you ever tried Aurora? Uh, uh, Everything's uh, fine I, Everybody back I'm, I'm Not in a long time, <laughs> sweetheart Not since you were born You could like? at least have a You can't fast travel in combat Alright Uh oh, they're still mad I can't believe it Even after I fast traveled? Hold on, can I climb the... Uh, okay, hold on here. What the? Oh, you've just fucked with the wrong spaceman. <laughs> Welcome to hell, security boys. Man, now it's, uh... Just vanquish now. It's uh, ultra kill. <laughs> oh yeah, what are you gonna do? <laughs> Our strategy. It's time to leave. <laughs> Time to skedaddle. Uh oh, <laughs> the whole game's falling apart. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll get us out of this mess. I'm trained for these types of situations. Farewell, New Atlantis. Oof, that was a close one, but thanks to my keen training. <clears throat> acrobatic skills that I have been investing in everything was okay uh -oh. are these my assassins hold on I gotta get my suit on oh I got a affliction that's all right I don't think that's really a problem afflictions are not something I'm concerned with autonomous farm all right, this affliction's making my making my face all blurry. I don't really like that. Is this like a ranch? Am I? Uh, oh man, I'm over encumbered. That's the affliction. Uh, let's see. Status. Take the corresponding remedy. Dislocated limb. Okay. How, what's the recommended way to fix that? Doctor? Doctor bag? Probably not just a med kit, I guess. Eating a bitten sandwich? Cuts and wounds? Yeah, I don't think. Well, maybe it'll work. Maybe it'll work. Nope, that didn't seem to do the trick. 
Um. Mmm. Hamburger. Broken leg. Hamburger time. Beautiful. We're back, baby. I've never been healthier. What's the deal with this ship? There's an elder scroll just chilling? Completely missed it. Oh man, are these the the guards? So this is like the Monty Python where it keeps zooming into the guy and it looks like he's gonna get closer, but every time the camera turns back, he's still just as far away as when he started running. For some reason, the uh, there's like magnification in third person view, which is kind of strange. Well, what is with these guys? <laughs> Who are these guys? Oh, bounty hunter. <laughs> so as long as I just keep walking away, not sprinting, but just walking backwards, they'll keep marching after me and they'll never be able to engage in combat. <laughs> oh, hold on now. He's, it's the scourge of small gents. Oh, smaller than you've ever imagined. Their tiny fury will... Actually, one of them should be like the runt of the litter, I would say. This, this guy in particular, he's real tiny, but he's good with a shotgun. Be a shame if somebody were to take your tiny bounty hunting ship. The little guy's my favorite. <laughs> Elias two faxes. Where'd that guy go? I think his name's Sam. Sam Co. But <laughs> he's Elias two. No, no, no. Oh, there we go. There's a small. A small uh, pump preventing me. Working Bethesda ladder. All right, I'm impressed again. <laughs> I'm not really sure where the cockpit is. Is this it? Should going up a little higher. Whoop! No, can't go up. Are they like incapable of <laughs> of coming in here? Usually Bethesda's pretty good about like having persistent like NPC locations and like their ability to follow you and stuff. Uh oh. So there I was, face to face with the small gents that had initially come to kill me. And I said to him, I said to him, I said, listen buddy, you better back off or I'm going to toss a grenade right in that cockpit and then... Oh, I don't have any grenades. Oh, I don't have any ammo. Damn. <clears throat> um... Guess I'll use this thing. Uh-oh, uh -oh, that's going to blow. I wish that it blew more. Yeah, I do have hotkeys for some of my equipment. It's just the stuff that I use is all out of ammo because I'm busy killing it. Ooh, black market antiquities. Groovy. I'm out of ammo for that one now, too. What, am I going to have to knife him? Oh, do I have anything left for anything? <laughs> oh, yeah. Modify. Oh, side star. Oof. You're down bad when you've got this little pea shooter coming out. Oh man, the bullet sound is actually, or the gun sound is pretty badass actually. Gentlemen, it was a good fight and you proved worthy opponents, but in the end, I always get my... You are not authorized to pilot this ship. Oh, come on now. I did all the work of 
stealing this bounty hunting vessel and all I got was $11,000 worth of stuff which doesn't even pay for the probably $23,000 I have to pay to not be uh, killed by security guards anymore <clears throat> Fui. We need a we need a mod that lets you steal the ship right now. Todd. Todd. Can I move the chair? You can't even move the swivel chair. What if I want to move it across the room and sit somewhere else? Counter strike for kids. Well, I guess I got to go face the music. <laughs> it's a firing squad of four, uh, one and a half foot tall bounty hunters wearing army waiting for me outside the door. <laughs> Local flora and fauna, these small things here. I wonder if there's, if they're nearby. Maybe they left. Maybe they realized that they were hopelessly outmatched. I think they just disappeared straight up. I don't see them anywhere. They didn't like give chase. Oh, uh, what, what now? Oh, over encumbered again. All right, forget this spacesuit. Oh, get it. It's never enough. Always got to drop something more. You have to kill everyone on the ship, then you become authorized? Oh, does that include the people who, like, didn't I kill everybody on the ship? All right, I'll, I'll go take another look. Maybe there's some rooms that I didn't, like, peek into. All I have left is tiny gun, so hopefully they don't have any like death claws or anything like that on board. The bandits in oblivion that have Daedric armor for some reason. <clears throat> I don't know, I'm tempted to not even reload the quick save I made before I became like a murderous um, psychopath because like uh, this has been a pretty profitable venture. Like, yeah, I think that, I think that maybe that means the people who are outside, if you can take it. Because, like, usually there's, like, less ambiguity about that stuff. It would be like, you must kill everybody to pilot this ship. crime do get you didn't have to delete that that would have worked too this is my get there's another ladder going up it's not interactable i think it's just there to like make you feel like the sh there's more to the ship looking for lo oh Small men spotted. Ooh. I've never been so afraid in all my life. Let's do this. Detected. Uh oh. Man, I wish I had some grenades left. I'd love to see them go flying. That propane tank was just a little closer. What the? Oh, his health bar was not showing up. It was somebody else's health bar. I thought he didn't take any damage, but yeah, he's not, he's almost dead. Sorry, boys. I'm commandeering, commandeering your ship. If if. What Silvar said, the internet said, is accurate. That I'm coming here. 
I guess those propane tanks don't blow up. That one blows up. Whoop! Oh, this is super tiny. Ooh, it became long and frightening. How? I just gotta eat a bunch of licorice and sandwiches and carrots right now because I'm super hungry. All right, I'm feeling better. Look, Slenderman. They, but they they end lengthen themselves after death. It's a very odd by bi like biological behavior. We'll have to study it to fully understand. I need more licorice. And some beer, water, worms, grapes, heart. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's like a drug. Oof. It hits the spot. Very cool. Let me just do a little autopsy here. Long space boys. If only they had evolved prior to death, perhaps they could have defeated me in combat. But you win some, you lose some. <laughs> Vibrating space chairs. This game is trying so hard to be Elex, but it never will. Damn. Oh, maybe I can put one point into lock picking. Most good indeed. Oh, no. Oh, whoop. I didn't mean to do that. Slight overcorrection. This lock begging system is really it's really out there. Ah like turn the opposite direction. I'm not good at this. I'm not good at this. I'm not advanced. I'm not advanced at all. Oh, it's like it almost works. I want to move the nub. Yeah. It would be nice if there was just a retry button. Oh, I'm out of X too? Oh, fuck. Spacesuit workbench. Ooh. No mods. Oh well. So you can mod your spacesuit.
I I'm actually with you. I think Oblivion's lockpicking is good. I like it. I don't know why everybody hates Oblivion lockpicking so much. I vastly prefer it over the Skyrim lockpicking that for some reason became the industry standard. Morrowind fans be like, yeah, but what about Morrowind lockpicking? And then they like roll a, a die on their desk. See, it's a good system. Yeah, like uh, Oblivion lockpicking kind of actually makes you feel like you actually you actually have to feel out, like, the way the tumblers work and everything. You gotta, like, recognize patterns in the way that the... everything falls in the lockpicking. Until you get the skeleton key and just mash the auto pick, but... Well, let's see if I can fly out of here. Oh, right, that's true. Fallout 3 was the first game that did that. I find that lockpicking to just be like, I would rather have dice rolls than that. Max soul, true. Extremely soulful lockpicking. But the best lockpicking system of all time? Well, follow my sword for this one. Two Worlds 2. Unironically has such a good lockpicking system, and it's so satisfying. Alright, I killed everybody, I'm still not authorized, so... I don't know. Yeah, definitely can't do anything with that ladder. Yep, two, two worlds two lockpick. I don't know what two worlds one lockpicking is like. I don't remember. Two two worlds two though. Epic lock picking. Level up your piloting skill? Really? Is that gonna work? The instrument bands. That, I've heard that game's multiplayer is actually like funner than it has any right to be though. Can I level it up? Oh yeah. Oh no, I can't. I gotta destroy five ships. Can't do it. Wait, how could you say it's boring? <laughs> I've been having, I've been having a lot of fun over the last like 45 minutes. Two Worlds 2 lock picking is like, I don't even know how to describe it. You're like shown the, the lock as like a tunnel and the lock moves on its own in a circle and you have to like, like hit the lock picking button at the right point when it goes over um, that part of the lock. It's, it's, it's hard to describe, but it's like fun. It's like a little like rhythm mini game. It's not like difficult or annoying. Uh, it's just like an enjoyable little side activity. <laughs> yeah, well, I've only been having unadulterated fun for 45 minutes. The rest of the time I've gone between being kind of bored and, and having fun. Depending on the circumstances. Not that I, I didn't expect, like, the first few hours of the game. There's no Bethesda game I've ever played where, like, the first few hours are, like, a blast. It's every Bethesda game ever, especially after you've played them once before, the first few hours are, like, a chore you have to do before you're allowed to go play outside with your friends. Including Daggerfall. And especially Arena, actually. I'm thinking, those two... Arena starts you off in a terrible, terrible sewer dungeon that feels like it lasts an eternity. Daggerfall gives you the privateer's hold, which is, if you know what you're doing, you can get out of there in like 10-15 minutes, it's not that bad. Morrowind makes you, I don't know, walk. Walk very slowly, run out of stamina. When you walk, then you gotta like really slow down your walk to make sure you get your stamina back up. Although I guess you can take a Silt Strider if you want to go die. Yeah, you can climb the wall in Daggerfall. There's also a lever next to the throne that, like, is, like, a platform that, like, moves it up to the second level, which is kind of fun. Morrowind makes you talk to elves. 
<laughs> Horrible creatures. <laughs> Hello, my friends. How about this truly alien creature? Whoa, I did not mean to do it to the tree. I was aiming for the bird. There we go. They called him Big Bird. <laughs> and he moved fast. See, instantly the game becomes better when there's giant parrot hawks flying around. Daggerfall Unity, I mean, it's still an alpha, but it's totally playable. It's, it's really... That's the way I would absolutely recommend anybody play Daggerfall. It's really good. And there's tons of mods people have made to, like, put more, like, legitimate quests and little, um, dungeons and stuff like that. It's to- it's, uh, it, it, despite being an alpha, I would say it's, like, as good as done. You wouldn't expect much more from a fan project. True, Daggerfall is the only Elder Scrolls game that proudly bears its nudity to the world. Daggerfall live stream. The very first live stream I ever did was actually Daggerfall. I was on Twitch. That was a fun time. I was so nervous. I mean, I still do get a little bit nervous, but that was like, I have no idea what I'm doing style. <clears throat> it's in a better state than most Bethesda games. Kind of true, yeah. Kind of true. Surprisingly bug-free, smooth experience. I've had very little problems with it, and um, the quality of life stuff they add in Daggerfall Unity it makes it so that, like, dungeon crawling and stuff like that is actually, like, far more enjoyable. Provided you had enough foresight to get the mark and recall spells. <laughs> Otherwise, it's the absolute worst, most nightmarish chore on uh, on Earth. Mass District. I wonder if they're still mad at me. Uh oh guys guys i apologize what more do you need sweet dreams you see security <laughs> look what you did you could have prevented this Why is it- why am I referred to as NPC? What are they trying to say? Oh, TCL is actually a command, it just doesn't- it doesn't let you fly like another Bethesda case. <laughs> no forgive and forget policy. Alright. Why? Why is there, why is there no option to quick load? Does the game delete your quick saves when after you load something? Does the game delete your quick saves? Surely not. Surely not. Okay, so let's see. There's a quick save. All right, I'm going to try to load now. 
So I'm gonna load. Now in any game I've ever played, even if you load a hard save or even if you transition between areas, you'll still have the quick save. No, it is still there. I like definitively pressed quick save several times. Where did the quick saves go? Where did all my other quick saves go? Why did they uh, disappear? Well, this is the world. This is the doomed world that I've created now. Oh, now you can't fast travel during combat. There's only three quick save slots. No, I understand that, but where are like the three quick saves I would have made? Why are why are they all gone? Like, uh, if you quick saved after making three, it would just overwrite your oldest quick save, would it not? But instead, I'm just not get. I'm not seeing any of the quick saves that I've made. So instead, this game has like condemned. It's like sentenced me to hell world. <laughs> it's an intentional choice. Quick, oh, quick save and auto save. Sh save to the same slots. No. No, Todd. No. No. Auto saves are not the same. They should not be treated the same way in game as the quick save. <laughs> what if you quick save and then you walk somewhere new? There's an auto save. This is a certified Starfield moment, and I'm here for it. I like it. It's a feature that I like in the game. Okay. So, <laughs> they won't allow me to... <laughs> they won't allow me to, like, turn myself in. They're just going to try to kill me. These security guards are trying to kill me. I got to go to my parents' house. Help. Help. <laughs> Where's my spaceship? Where's my spaceship? <laughs> Where's my spaceship? Why? <laughs> I, my ship, I just wanna see it. I just wanna see it. I don't even have to warp to it. I just wanna see it at this point. Game, please. Oh, is that it? No, that's unknown man walking around with scanner all right everybody excuse me no offense i got business to take care of what where <laughs> where's the where's the ship where's the damn ship if if the game here's the thing if the game had local maps, like every RPG I've played over the last 30 or so years, then you could easily find what you were looking for. However, it doesn't. And that's fine. I like that it doesn't have local maps to help me find my ship. That's, to me, that's very cool. It's like real life. It's like realistic life, you know? You don't always have the map. And that's just a fact, Jack. Uh, <laughs> now the problem is that... Small problem, small issue. I literally can't go anywhere as long as everybody wants to kill me. And everybody... does most assuredly want to kill me so somehow I need to be able to turn myself in which they won't let me do because they're trying to kill me um, or else I am trapped in this like specific district of the game I guess kill a few civilians you set a waypoint on the map well here's the thing maybe you could set a waypoint this is not a map let's let's get that uh, oh there's a fast travel to ship button a dedicated fast travel it, there's no map and you can't set waypoints on it but you can fast travel to your ship from the map that's the fact you can do that all right bad news everybody on board we have made an enemy <laughs> of the, the state. Yeah. Uh, sure. 
Right what do you now, call it when one guy with a knife runs very fast and stabs a security Hi. guard in the face? A problem. Can jump higher than a skyscraper Good one. Uh oh. Oh, they're mad. Oh, they're mad out on in space too. They're mad in space. <laughs> I've got a cargo ship. I've got a shit ass idiot cargo ship that I found. That I found in a garage. That I found in a garage. <laughs> in Baltimore, okay? I'm gonna die from the, the these guys. Wait, hold on, maybe I can warp? Maybe you can fast travel? <laughs> There's no way. There's no way that the game will let you fast travel. There's no way. But but you don't know until you try. No, this is nothing. I don't want to go to this this planet. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Toggle God mode. I did toggle God mode on. You're right. So I don't really have to worry, but... Um... But can... <laughs> can I warp, though? Do I, can I can I outrun them? Like, if I just keep... No, you can't fast travel during combat. Alright, well... Hold on now. <laughs> Let's just... Uh, be reasonable about this. I'm sure I'm... Um... Kill. Does kill work? Kill works in most, uh... I heard a scream when I typed kill, so I guess it must have worked. Typed kill. Blah! <laughs> eh, don't think I don't see you. Oh wait, is that even an enemy? <laughs> I have the power! Toggle dot mode. <laughs> I wouldn't bet on it. And just to go ahead and lock they in load. <laughs> I cut the engines. Man, they they hail. Can I hail them? I've got special orders. You're coming with me. Stand down and prepare for immediate transport to our vessel. Hmm. I wish I could save right now. Should I go stand? What do you What do you guys think? Should I go stand trial for my crimes, or should I continue to to try to outrun them? Maybe I should go own up to my to the injustices. Trial. All right. All right. Go to space jail, lose all your XP. A small price to pay. Maybe it's like Chrono Trigger. They're gonna remember every bad thing, good thing I've ever done. You were nice to bear it. Uh, and then, however, you did kill 14 innocent people later on. So. Stop worrying and keep an eye on our you stole two we fire back. extinguishers <laughs> and everyone at Constellation died because they couldn't put you out a fire. Uh oh. Ready, sir. I hope you're comfortable. Well, we'll oh man, is this like the police First, force? Let me see what we're working with here. Oh, crimes? It appears you spent several oh. years as a bounty hunter. That type of background will get you quite far around here. I also see that you mined on Vectera, and now you're with Constellation. You've certainly been quite busy. Oh, and look at that. Right at the bottom of this list. Uh, is the criminal you may want to take another look. I don't think it was any one this. incident that made that was landed me here. I think incidents plural may be the correct course of action. I will when I'm ready. We're building now up to that, that point. We have that out of the way, 
Let me introduce myself. My name is Commander Kibwe Igande, and I'm in charge of this operation. I... I'm I glad to be getting you. expository dialogue from a man who uh, is trying to, like, prosecute me. Yes, well, this is your only opportunity to keep yourself out of jail. There's a way so for the mass murderer to you keep himself out of jail. Well, they handle the big picture stuff. We deal with a very particular problem. The Crimson Fleet. That convict is where you enter the picture. Are we really playing this game? The pirates. You just told me a bunch of shit that doesn't matter. Now I'm asking a relevant question. I'm getting shamed for it. have no idea what I'm talking about. Oh, am I, am I gonna be like a... Am I gonna like a narc on the Crimson Fleet? No. No, you don't. Not yet, anyway. We've been prodding at the Crimson Fleet for years. Yeah, I kind of like this, actually. This is kind of neat. I did not expect... I expected the classic pay the fine or go to jail or attack them. I didn't think they would take advantage of the situation this way. Now, they probably should have picked somebody who, like, was smuggling drugs or something, not a, a mass murderer. Agree to work for UCC Steph, and together we take down the Crimson Fleet. Refuse, and I tell these guys to throw you into the nearest lockup. Might even tack on an extra few hundred credits to your fine. what's in it for me my character i like to believe that he's like stupid enough to think he's got some kind of leverage in this situation i'm like literally tied up in a chair just like i don't know maybe uh you gotta sweeten the pot a little bit it's like no you fucking idiot well first better Whoop. still depending All right. on how well you do your job we'll even kick in a few extra credits to offset any cost that the operation will incur or you can throw that away and end up back in jail the hefty fine attached. I was like visiting my parents earlier this day. They're gonna be so disappointed in me. How do day night cycles work in this game? Do, do they actually like, can you wait and like lighting changes depending on like, like the rotation or whatever of the, or the orbit of a planet? You can't keep getting away with it! Of course you have a choice. It's just stacked in my favor. So, what do you say? You going to work with me, or should I find someone else? I don't know, guys. It seems for role-playing purposes like it might be a good idea. In real life, when people forget to, like... Or when, when quick saves stop working, sometimes they do things like this. Smart choice. I'm going to have one of my men escort you to the operation center. I strongly suggest that you don't... Wait, they left trouble. me armed? And don't bother trying to leave the ship. I think you'll find all access to the docking area is fully restricted. You know what? I have found myself having, um... Alright, let's go. Moments of enjoyment in this game. After the, uh, initial... So, it's tutorial nonsense was over and done with. New mole, huh? Of course, it could still fall apart over a dozen pirates. hours or so, but... Got a lot of guts. But, uh, still, you know, there are little things I wonder, like, little neat things. Especially with the stories that go around. Like the one about how the fleet deals with informants by lashing them to the hull of a ship. The more I see, the less I like. What was the part that did it for you? Was it when I turned all the bounty hunters tiny and killed them and they expanded into long boys? Or was it when I set scale to 10 on my character and skated across the battlefield like I had magnetic boots? Yeah, it's just Fallout 4 in space. I don't really... 
Uh, I think that's a fairly reasonable description. I mean, obviously it's not that, but you know, in a way. All right. Feeling this game feel wise, that's what it is. Take the lift up to ops. <clears throat> Commander Ikande should be waiting for you. Out, maintenance crew. Ah. Sometimes we'll take the long range fighters out for grab jump and control high traffic orbitals for fleet. Operations, man, they really trusted the hell out of me immediately after like releasing me from my cell. You think I'd be getting like an armed escort? Power stancing? You think that you can out power stance me? Oh, I got my spacesuit on. It's tough to look cool. You think you can out cool? You think. Look at the camera. Fuck. You think you can out power stance this man? You're sorely mistaken. Wait, I just made the floor bigger. Why what, can't I ever just get myself? You think you... All right, set scale just doesn't work on the player character in this game. I'm convinced. Ah, there you are. Can we make this Thanks. an evil bastard run? Oh man, I hate doing evil bastard runs the first time. I, want to I only, you to your I only like doing evil bastard runs the second the time I play a game. The UC vigilance. Since Dev's nerve center dedicated destruction of the no no IRL fleet. power sets you guys can't I'm not even wearing pants I'm just wearing a shirt right now <laughs> I'm wearing a toga whether this ship is impressive or not you're the key element that we've been lacking we need eyes and <laughs> what you kept killing 20 people fleet. makes you an evil Some bastard then lock me up evidence and expose their weaknesses catch is that you can't just knock on their front door and ask for an application getting inside is going to take some finesse something tells me that even though it's like my freedom is contingent on following this plan i can just shelve this quest and come back to it like 35 hours later i do our intelligence has managed to find a possible opening into the Crimson Fleet through Sersha Or maybe I just can't go back to contacts. whatever new New Atlantis, New Atlanta. So I can't remember if it's Atlantis or, or Atlanta. Or Believe me, there is a difference. Her attention. Well, it's the best we've got. Once you block your way into the Crimson Fleet, then the operation proceeds to evidence gathering. That's where my second in command, Lieutenant Gillian Toft, comes into the picture. She'll explain everything you need to know. You must have quite a bit of confidence in my abilities. I, you saw how fast I was cruising down there. If I didn't have there. confidence in your abilities, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Remember, this entire operation rests on your ability to infiltrate the Crimson Fleet and bring us the evidence we need to take them down. Okay, so I, a few people have asked me uh, when they popped into stream what my thoughts on the uh, game are and I maintain that I don't I don't believe that you can really like accurately depict what a game is like or even if you like it without having full context of all of the like mechanical aspects of it that are working together that create the broader experience that is gameplay. But I will say this, knowing this from the few hours that I've played, if you don't like Fallout 4, you probably won't like this game. If you don't like every game that Bethesda has made in the last 10 years, this game will probably not change your perspective. You would kindly continue. That is that is the only thing I can like say, I can say that I think it's like definitive at this point. <clears throat> I wouldn't expect any less. Look, before you begin, I want to make something perfectly clear. As an undercover operator, if you love Skyrim, system, uh, if you're not a fan of Fallout 4, yeah, I'm not sure. Depends on what you didn't Allow like about it. This game may be address certain things. And a good chance of the silent of uh, protagonist kind of gives me more Fallout 3 vibes in some ways than Fallout 4. 
Bethesda has never been good at giving like a lot of player agency via dialogue, but this game seems like an improvement over Fallout 4 in that way, and Skyrim, at least, so far. Um, I think they're trying to push more of the faction thing, which they've slowly been getting better at, but never as good as Obsidian. That's what I wanted. Anyway, it's time to hand you over to Lieutenant Toft. Tons of Bethesda, absolutely. It's it is identifiably a Bethesda now, game through and through. Get out of here. And if that if that is bothersome to you, then you will likely find yourself so annoyed by the game that you will probably start looking for things to dislike about it, um, rather than kind of enjoy it for what it is. For your own safety. Nobody but myself and the crew of the Vigilance will be aware that you're working for the United Colonies. Basically, if you land in jail, you're going to have to deal with the fines. As you were. Yes. Yeah, the, the Legion faction definitely, I mean, I think factually, like, it's been said by Josh Sawyer that, uh, or Chris Avalon, that it was rushed. They, they were attempting, I think, initially to make the Legion more, uh, like, more, still yes. probably identifiably the evil faction, but, like, more, um, sympathetic. But with the deadline they had, they ended up kind of cutting their losses and going for something that was, like, more cut and dry as far as the legion being that way and and as a result a lot even though i think the legion quest line legitimately does have like a few great quests um i i, I don't even like can i i'm worried about like spoiling something in case somebody still haven't played new vegas but uh there's like a, an assassination mission i thought was really interesting and it's super cool because that mission can be played from like either the perspective of the of the ncr or the legion um so that's neat. There's there's a good, there's some really good Legion quests, but it, Legion is still clearly, um, like, rushed. Okay. Hello. I still don't know if I'd say I'm thoroughly enjoying it, just because I find so many things about it like haven't really clicked with me yet or maybe won't um i don't know i don't know it remains to be seen i feel like i gotta do at least like several quests and like do some exploration on my own see what see what planets look like like i don't even really know what exploration looks like as far as planets and like boundary areas and i know it's not seamless but like there's so much of the game that i don't know enough about to say whether or not it's like everything's working together you know so no, I wouldn't say I'm definitively, like, enjoying it enough to, like, recommend it to any kind of person yet. I know, it's a, it's a, it's a middle-of-the-road stance sometimes, that's how it is with me in new games. Um, I try not to have really strong opinions about things that I don't really know that much about. How the fuck can I get out of here? Do I have to fast travel to my ship? So close. Aquila City is just out of reach. Pardon. I don't, I don't even know where I'm going. Why? Why am I being pointed towards Phobos? What? Uh, what reason does the game have to automatically point me towards Phobos? Yeah, if like, if you like the Bethesda style, like sandbox, being able to like have a million items in the world that you can interact with and throw around and ragdoll physics and sort of just fun sandbox chaos with like light sprinklings of RPG, like I, I see no reason why this game can't provide you with many hours of fun. And if you don't like that, 
God bless you. I'll kiss you on the cheek. You're you're wonderful, and you're absolutely allowed to not like it or think it looks stupid. I guess I can just do the deep cover whenever I want. Very well. <laughs> the maps in this game I have a problem with, or lack thereof in some cases. Okay. Click on it. Okay, secondary clicking. Set course, is that what I want? Okay, so did I set a course? Oh, you can't fast, okay. But like, how do I get to my ship from here? Can I do the, uh, can I see a local? No, there is no local map, but like, like where's my, I don't, I don't get it. Where, I am at the UC Vigilance. Okay. But I can't just like warp to my ship or so, or whatever. Sometimes my scanner works to do this. Okay, I guess that's, oh no, I can't fast travel from this location, okay. So why is travel to Aquila City lead me to that locked door? Um, but then my ship is like on far away, or what? I don't. I, I don't even know, man. <laughs> it's really seems kind of like inconsistent about docking computer docking for it. Do I have to like talk to an NPC to like let me out or something? Oh, I've got to talk to the other guy again. Okay. But I already did. Yes. I thought it was clear that Lieutenant Toft should be your next stop. Lieutenant Toft. Okay, so I got to talk to Lieutenant Toft. Oh, maybe that's if I go into my missions and ah set that as my current objective it'll ah okay all right we don't have a lot it's of all time, good so everybody i, I got it i figured While it out working undercover it's imperative that you gather as much evidence as possible if you find any records that look suspicious or incriminating you bring it to me is that understood i think i understand rationalize it however you like Whoop. I want data slates, computer Hey, thank you, Luke. Handwritten I appreciate notes. that. Hell, I'll take anything if it'll get those bastards thrown into the brig. I'm having a good old rockin' time, and I'm glad you like my stuff. Just finished my newest script. In the coming weeks, you'll see the video, the likes of which I have not made one this long in a while, so I appreciate that. I'm a security expert. For the sake of the settled systems, I hope you're right. That minor skirmish you had with them on Vectera was nothing compared to the death and destruction those pirates leave behind. If you've seen what I've seen, you'd understand why I'm pushing you so hard. You feel like talking about it? I, this is such a weird option. You want to talk about it? Just met you. What? <laughs> no, it's personal. It has nothing to do with you. Just know just that whenever you need somebody to talk fine. to, the guy you just arrested uh, who killed 20 people is here. That's all we're asking. Oh, before you go, there's one more thing. Commander Akande has authorized a credit disbursement for each piece of evidence that you return as compensation for your efforts. A hundred dollars? Mm -hmm. Yes. Commander Akande mentioned that when he proposed the idea. Lucky you. All right. 
We've loaded a container of Aurora into your ship's cargo hold. Or also provided Well, the backgrounds have already provided a richer kids. gaming experience We've than the backgrounds from launch? Cyberpunk 2077. <laughs> Make contact with Searsha Bowden. And with any luck, she'll point you to the Crimson Fleet. That should do it. You're dismissed. Let me know if you need anything else. Hooray! I can leave. Did you have to chase that fleet ship through that asteroid belt? Yes. yes sir. Do you remember what I told you yesterday? Get out of line and I'll put Excuse you me. down. Clear? Sounds like a win-win. Quick save than murder, maybe? That's what we've, we've already been through. I wonder if Sam Co is, uh, is judging me quietly right now. What the? Where's, uh, Where's this, this little girl? What? Wait, why? Oh, this is part of <laughs> I looks so disoriented. I was like, how did I get here? Is this even my ship anymore? Do you need it? Dad and I will be riding. Your Bye. Is clean. Your boots polished. Your mirror shine. I'll just go ahead and close that. All right, so nobody asked questions about why we're here, what just happened. Yeah, it is, uh, I will say for sure, like, without trying too hard to compare, like, it to other games, the, in a post, um... Dad, can I have a pet? A pet? In a, in a post, uh, No Man's Sky and Outer Wilds world, the, the fact that the game is, like, so segmented is kind of uh, a harder pill to swallow. I don't find it like that big of a problem because I never went in with the expectation that it would be, but um, I think it definitely would have been uh, more impressive if they were able to like sort of just make it more of a seamless experience at least. Right now it's just there's so many components of to just like getting from one place to another Okay, let's see. Probably should do the more pressing thing. Uh, I don't know if modders are gonna be able to fix, ma like, make it seamless. I think that's a bit of a tall order. That's a, that's more of like a fundamental engine thing than a than uh, well, a lack of trying. Oh. So it is been. Oh my god. <laughs> you know what? I'm done having nuanced opinions about anything. From now on, it's either 10 out of 10 or it's garbage. Starfield script extender. It'll have to be like a. Pretty, pretty extended script. Starfield mod organizer. Not cleared, ah, uh, right. Scan complete. Go ahead and land. Everything's a seven out of 10. Well, that just makes everybody angry. You can't win with a seven out of 10. <laughs> Bad, mid, or great. The three categories of video game. I think it's uh, a shame that uh, a game being seen as like a 7 out of 10 or even an 8 out of 10 is like such a... such a mark against it these days. Like... You can't account for taste. Some games that some reviewers may not have been fond of could be like 
you can still be great. I feel like a lot of people think that unless a game is like perfect or like universally clouded, it's like, it's not worth their time. Too much water. No, that wouldn't be an 8.5. Too much water would make it, what, a 7.8, I think. We made it to Diamond right, City. We're here. You ready? Because once we get started, I'm going to be riding your tail till this is over. There's uh, something you should know up front. I'm a co. As in Solomon Co. First man on a key. A celebrity. That tail I mentioned before, the one I think is connected to an artifact, it's something of a family legend. After Planet Fall, Solomon spent years mapping a key and he found a tiny little patch of nothing on his senses. The kind of nothing an artifact produces. He called it the Empty Nest. Said it was a place even the wildlife of Aquila wouldn't go. Cool, well, that's man. It then. Proud of you. Proud of you, Sam. Why? Okay, I'll answer why people like this voice actor. Because he's got a cool voice. Because he's got a cool, gravelly, slick, unique voice. I don't know what kind of range he has. I don't know what his objective level of talent is, if such a thing can be measured. But he just has a cool, identifiable voice, and he plays a cool, identifiable character. That's pretty much the size of it, I would say. Hold it. By order of Marshal Daniel Blake, I need to inform you we've got some trouble at Gal Bank. Folks might be in danger, so you may want to steer clear. He's mid. Landing animation's mid. Adam Jensen is mid. Um, map mid. Me, but things aren't going great. The Marshall could probably Conversations mid. Guns play mid. Textures mid. Skybox mid. Dialogue mid. Planning to tell me your demands at some point. You want someone we can trust, and maybe we will. My IQ? Like who? Not you, and not one of your Very high. And not these city guards, neither. Journey around here. Uh, so. How am I supposed to? Makes me want to die, too. <laughs> I'm sure things will turn Makes you feel better, Nugget. You need to stand back now. Quick loading, mid. <laughs> True. Quick loading. Quick loading is a thing of the past. I'm so glad that they did away with it. I don't mean to be rude, but I don't know you. You're the only person in this now game who hasn't back. bared their soul to me within seconds of us meeting. Mm. I wish I could say you were wrong, but I'm backed into a corner here. Some folks from the Shaw Gang tried to rob the place, but they got spotted by a guard. They took everyone inside hostage, and now they're keeping a watch so we can't move against them. They're using the intercom. Todd right? Howard is the only reason that Morrowind was even made. So you have to give him that. You in your assessment of Todd through all the years, you always have to factor that in. And give him a plus one if you're a Morrowind fan. Guess we're done here. Dog gangs making fools of us all. I don't do payment plans or lines right. of credit, and I don't sell to shady individuals. I heard shady individuals. I knew I wasn't welcome anymore. 
Todd Howard, no, Todd Howard's direction is the only reason Morrowind became like the standardized like Bethesda thing. Todd Howard's vision for the game rained it down from 10,000 kilometers squared to 14. I'm not saying the rest of the team wasn't incredibly talented or didn't con contribute in any way, but like uh, the next Elder Scrolls game very likely wouldn't have um, strayed that far from what they had already established. Redguard, uh, Redguard stinks and um, Battlespire stinks as well, but but like his, his like yeah morrowind was essentially them being like oh we need to make this like more approachable <clears throat> yeah kirkbride's writing is very interesting despite all of the like ridiculous false rumors about him like going on a week-long ayahuasca binge and waking up in Todd's attic and like starving himself for six months to find secrets of the universe and becoming a Gnostic priest and all this stuff. People have definitely romanticized the hell out of Kirkbride. <laughs> But yeah, no, I've never I've never seen such strong uh, opinions about a game that technically isn't even out yet as I have uh, today playing this. Sometimes I just like walking around the street, you know, in the in, in the darkness of night. Yeah, as far as uh, corporate figureheads go, Todd is definitely. One of the better ones, I would say. Usun? Akila's dusty, but it's home. Yeah, Bethesda is really good at environmental design. I like I will stand by the Fallout 3. I love Fallout New Vegas a lot more than I like Fallout 3, but Fallout 3's locations are way, way more interesting to explore than Fallout New Vegas is. <laughs> hey, thank you, Sanguinius, for the super chat. You came in just as I was explaining the mythos surrounding uh, Kirkbride, the writer for uh, Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind, all of his lore and all of the wacky, zany uh, bits of lore people have come with, come up with to explain why his writing is so out there. <laughs> Appreciate that super chat. Citizen, <clears throat> those Shaw gang folks are still holed up inside with hostages. I'm in a real bind here. Yeah, it does. It, it really like through all of the bad years in the early 2010s when all of a sudden every developer and publisher was starting to talk about like streamlining and like making games like like paring down mechanics and making them simpler, making a lot of them dumber and all of that type of thing. Um, I feel like Todd has like very consistently just been like making sort of like giving people the chance to have fun his prerogative which even if you hate bethesda i feel like that's that's worthy of some level of respect he's like not somebody who renegs on those types of things even though he definitely is a bit of an exaggerator when it comes to when it comes to marketing you're drifting at least he's not mall a new level he seems he seems to have a very simple simple ethos when it comes to game making which I like. They won't talk to me. Say they don't trust the badge. <laughs> they want a neutral negotiator. In other words, they didn't have a plan for this, so they're stalling while they- Bethesda was in huge trouble when uh, Todd started working there, is my understanding of it. Morrowind might actually have saved that company. <laughs> Hmm. All right, I'm willing to allow that. But a few things first. Say what you have to. Whatever they ask for. Also, what? there are lives at stake. 
so don't get cavalier. Find out what they want. What's you taking Elder Scrolls you. Six? I have a feeling we're going to be asking that same question in I'm six or seven years from now. So don't shoot. I think Todd just went on record recently saying, um, I wish that I had announced it more casually. Which doesn't bode well for where they're at timeline wise. Randy Pitchford, yeah, true. That is not a particularly high bar though, Fenrir. I think they're like fairly well underway in like preliminary development, which given Bethesda's recent timelines means that it's gonna be a really long time. Mmm. A little uh a, a little empathy here. passage to the spaceport and a ship we'll drop the hostages off somewhere safe in the system After Man, that, i need a i need a soundboard that Marshall that like parrots my opinion um on the game every time somebody asks how it is Got it. not that it's a bad question sanguinius i've just answered it a few times to the point where the people who have been here since the beginning are probably getting real tired of me <laughs> re-explaining especially since i don't have a one-word opinion on it like mid good bad Um, yeah, that's good. That's good. That's a good way of putting it. Just got a space cowboy faction. Then persuade the marshal that it ain't. <laughs> this whole damn job's gone wrong. Wait. No, no. no. Are you serious? The vampire, the, is this actually true? Bloodlines 2 is being developed by the Chinese. Is that a joke? Hold on. Edge, yeah? I literally a record scratch sound played in my head. <laughs> Has, is that true or is that like a meme? I can't. <laughs> I can't click. I can't click anything. Um. Well, hold on, Fender. Before you celebrate, we should acknowledge. We should acknowledge the Chinese rooms. <laughs> um like a list of accomplishments if that's actually the case I gotta know I gotta know if it's real they've done Dear Esther and Amnesia a Machine for Pigs however people felt about Bloober Team being the ones uh, who were who are developing the Silent Hill 2 remake? Uh, this is that like times five for me. <laughs> oh baby, <laughs> it's it's a hell of a thing to cut your teeth on RPG making with the sequel to one of the most like beloved cult RPG games of all time. What do you mean? Oh yeah yeah. Sure the hostages don't get hurt. Still says paradox. Yeah, it's like one of those things where like it 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 could be true, but like it also like if you told me that and it was a joke, I wouldn't be surprised. Sometimes bad things oh, happen damn. To I don't think I'm gonna persuade him. You really think so? <laughs> oh, I got one more. Ah. Dang yo. You go tell the marshal to get that ship ready so we can all walk away from this thing without anybody getting hurt. Yeah, it's some mixed feelings. Vampire 2 being not dead in the water, but uh sometimes sometimes in life some things are best left as lone games without sequels. Kill these hostage takers. 
Let's see, maybe is, there's a sneaky way in. I tried being nice. It's a perfect human sized Deus Ex style vent up here, maybe. <laughs> actually surprised I thought there would be for sure yeah games changing hands many times um, is not usually a good sign case in point vampire the masquerade bloodlines one <laughs> A game that is like good in spite of basically its entire last 40%. Its first half is like so strong that it offsets how awful the entire end game is. Hey, thanks Fenrir. Break over, back to the grind. I appreciate that. I'm uh, glad I could supply you with a temporary distraction from the horrors of work. Bloodlines was, I think Bloodlines passed hands to like a lot of, uh, a lot of different, either developers or publishers or both. Every FromSoft game? I disagree, not every FromSoft game. Demon Souls is pretty consistent. I think most of Demon Souls worlds are pretty good. Dark Souls 1 has a terrible end game. Um, Dark Souls 2, the, I would say, is consistent. Whether that's a good thing or a bad thing is up to you. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. Dark Souls 3 is solid. Bloodborne is solid. I feel like Dark Souls 1 is the only, like, obvious weak link in terms of, like, the, the second half of a game. If, if, if there are others, I'm, uh, just drawing a blank on where they failed. I heard every word. He's talking too loud. Sign of fatigue. All that fear and exhaustion are taking a toll. And, uh... I, Elden Ring is, like, unreasonably consistent, in my opinion. Very precarious position. There's no reason it uh, should continue to be as good as it is. I appreciate your idealism. You've already ruled out one of them, so that leaves us with only one option. We have to free the hostages by taking out their captors. Problem is, they're keeping me and the guards inside at all times. If we try to move against them, They'll see us coming. This guy sounds real familiar. You'd be willing to do that? You've got guts, that's for damn sure. I can't deny that you're right, though. They might not see that coming. Now, I see two ways we can play this. Only problem with Dark Souls 2... Well, not my only problem with it. Inside, uh, my main problem with Dark Souls 2 is just that the bosses... Quick. For the most part, the are so quantity over quality. But you'll have to shoot to kill. So many also just lame uh, bosses in Dark Souls 2. Out front here, so None of the games in the series are perfect, but this key like Dark Souls 2 is like, especially considering just how like the raw power you can accumulate in Dark Souls 2, you get to like level like, like 200 by the end of the game. So you can just do a build of everything at once, demolish everything. I'm gonna catch them off guard by talking to them. We have a deal? I guess that'd be alright. You're gonna need to ditch that weapon first. I 
Ain't no way I'm letting you in here armed. Hmm. Another persuasion. I'm really good at these, don't worry. That's true. If you tried something, we'd take you out real quick. Make a fair point. All right? Fine. Yeah, it's good. Thank you so much as look at me, buddy. I'm sending you straight to the morgue. There. Kingsfield, I may I'm I may be, and, and I could be wrong, but like statistically, it's likely that I may be the definitive authority on Kingsfield Endgames right now. Considering I've got like a three and a half hour long video on Kingsfield coming out soon. Now, I could be wrong. There could be some big Kingsfield fans right now who have like played them all way more than I have. So, it's possible. Where's the good stuff, old man? I know you got something valuable stashed away in here. Don't you lie to me. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. You don't Please understand. Please tell me Should this is going to end Priceless heirlooms and relics from Aquila City's proud history. Shut up! You're wasting my time and I'm sick of it! Yes? I'm gonna yes. count to five. And if you ain't told me what I want to know, I'm gonna blow your head off. I wish I had more I'm med packs. The truth. I think I still got God Mode talking. Oops, not TGL. I have a wife. No, click me, not the floor. Four. Eight. Nothing. I need vats. I need vats. What's that? <laughs> Might be cool. The music mostly so far has been kind of understated. Like it sounds good. I've liked the tracks that I've heard, but it's not like a super front and center soundtrack. He's the leader, so he's got more blood than everyone else. save since I've only got like three healths left. Try my best. Good news everyone. Nice work. I heard the fight. Look me in the eyes when you say that. Is that so? Shame it had to come to that. But you got the job done and saved lives. Here, you've more than earned this. You got us out of a $15. tough spot. Did it with courage that's not common. As a matter of fact, you might just be Free Star Ranger material. If you're interested, head on over to the. Can you pay my bounties? She handles the new recruits.
What I hate is that every game does tinnitus now when a grenade explodes next to you, and as somebody who has tinnitus, it is the most horrible thing ever. In fact, tinnitus is, like, used more often for random shit now, and I literally have to, like, panic and check my ears to make sure it's not my tinnitus suddenly getting worse. It's- it's such a terrible feeling. I don't know why they- games insist on- at least, it, like, if you're gonna have all these accessibility options, have tinnitus off. <laughs> it's just so unpleasant. Okay, I think I'm gonna call it here for the day. Six hours of sitting in this chair has done me in. I've gotta go do a sit-up. That's what I think. I'm not sure if I'll keep streaming this game or not. I mean, I'll probably like play it a little bit once I have more time, like maybe outside of stream, but I'm not sure if it's... I'm not sure if it's a game I'll keep doing. I might pick something else in the, uh, next Saturday stream, but I don't know. We'll see. See what, see what the people want. Yeah, thanks for coming by, everybody. Thanks for the support. Really appreciate it. Um, I hope you had fun, even if you despise Starfield. I hope that you had a good time uh, watching the shenanigans. Just a pat on the head for me. Will do. Will do. Armor Core 6? Maybe. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Take it easy, everybody. Have a great rest of your weekend.